Hola, oh. amigos and amigas. Which camera am I looking at? This one? Hello. <laughs> it's me and Ozzy. This is the first time we've ever streamed together, Ozzy. It together. is, actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How's it going? Yeah, it's going all right. I'm a little bit hungover. You? Oh, I don't even think I'm lucid. Oh, excellent. Well, that's, well <laughs> for the next three hours, you're going to be joining us as we, uh, well, what are we doing? We're watching some retro gaming. Yes. Uh, you can see that machine in the background there. Some of you may recognize that. Some of you young'uns may not. That's called an arcade cabinet. And uh, it, it has about a bajillion games on it. Name an arcade game from the 80s, 90s, maybe even from the 70s. And it's on there. There's there's Martin. And there you can see the top of Lewis's <laughs> head. Um, so uh, thanks to Bitcade, actually. They were the ones that gave us that uh, machine. So very kind. Thank you to them. And uh, we're going to be just uh, talking bollocks for three hours. And occasionally we'll see some people play some games and talk about it. That's it. That's what you have. Yeah, that's what you came to That's expect. what you've got today. That's it. We were, before you rudely interrupted us, uh, we were actually talking <laughs> about radiation sickness. It's like one of my favourite subjects. I seem to talk to anyone about this. See anything? Cause you, I, I asked you, uh, what, what do you talk to Tom, uh, Tom about? Yeah. Star Wars, Star Trek, that's pretty much it. And, and, then, and then movies in general. And I don't know a lot about... Either of those, yeah. Any of those things. I mean, I, I don't have to talk about Star Trek and Star Wars. You know, it's not. It's not like I can only talk about that. Although <laughs> last night in the pub, we did talk about Star Wars for about an hour. Did we? <laughs> yeah. How no, was... not you and I. Oh you right, I was going to yeah. say I do not remember. No, this no, 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 no. It's like I can. I, I held a conversation about Star Wars for an hour. I'm no. impressed. That would have just been me talking at, at you, you for an hour and you just zoning it out. That's what that would have been. But that didn't happen. No, we had a good chat last night actually. Um, but yeah, it was, um, I mean, me and Tom will just we'll fucking talk about anything, really. There's, I mean, there's no limits. Okay. There's no limits. So radiation sickness. Yes. You know, you know that there is a period just before it gets really bad. Mm. You get radiation sickness, you, you're getting worse, you're getting worse, you're getting worse. And then you get this like second wind. Yes. Where you're like, I feel fantastic. I'm all and right. And everyone's like, this is fine. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to be all right. And then the next day it's like dead. My skin's fallen off. Yeah. And then it's like, <laughs> literal walking. Well, not walking. God. A melting, a melt, the melting man. A melt, a melty man. Yeah, it was, we were we were talking about the demon core briefly. Yeah. Um, when did that happen? When when I were think they? That would have been. Wasn't that when they were making Big Boy and Little Man or whatever those bombs were called? Let's look up Is the that demon what they're core. Called? Ah, they could have given them like a little bit more sinister names. Big Boy and Little Man. I don't know if that is <laughs> right. I just think Big Boy and Little Man. So the Manhattan Project. That was what it was for. What they called the Manhattan Project. That was the construction of the bombs. Uh, that was Oppenheimer was involved in that. Right. Uh, so two types of atomic bombs. Um, the thin man gun type design. The fat man plutonium implosion oh, type weapon. I know the fat man from Fallout. Yeah, but then they dropped the bombs. Let's see what the bombs were called. Um, this is fascinating for all the viewers. <laughs> me look googling things I mean, on my phone. I, I hope we've got the right chat up because I see no. No, this is not the right chat. So they were called Fat Man and Little Boy. This isn't. I don't which know. sounds disgusting. Um, what chat are you on? I, yes, please. Thanks. I don't he know called, who's... He called me Lewis. I... Oh, I thought he said Lewis. <laughs> I thought Pierre said, do you want me to ro remote in and fix it, Lewis? And I was like, Lewis has hair and and I don't. But there and... he is. And there is, and, and Lewis there is, is on screen, actually. Could yeah. we get some uh, Lewis play? What do you think he's going to play? What's his... Oh, are we, we predetermined what's... I don't think we choose. They choose. Yeah. Or has it been chosen? I don't. I don't have any idea. There he is. There's the man himself. There's the guy. I can say whatever I want to, and he has no idea. Oh, no, oh. He's, he's moved oh. that way. Oh, and we've got Hello, Martin. Got this Martin. feels like we're we're in there, and they're just walking around and not noticing. They're just ignoring us. This yeah. Is, this is awful. So that is sparkles. Yes. In indicated. There. Hang on. Here on your screen. There. Yes. That that man. That, that's Sophie, out of the way, Sophie. <laughs> that man there is Sparkles. That's that's Martin. That's Martin. That is Sparkles. That's Pyrian. Yeah, and that, hang on, is Ozzy. There we are. Um, that's oh. Sparkles, though. So he's he's one of the, he's one of the, I think he was the first Yogscast employee. No. Yes. Really? I was talking to Lewis about this today. So I rem I remembered the name Sparkles, but I, I wasn't like a Yognaut or anything like that. Mm. You know, I was cool. So I, <laughs> I didn't know who everybody was, right. um, 
And uh, yeah, but I, so I, I'd never, I'd never, I don't think I'd even met Sparkles before because I think he'd left by the time I started coming down here. Right. Um, so yeah, and do you know what? My, you know, Google timeline, the thing that pops up and says, here's what you've been doing with your life and where you went. Do you look at that? No, I, d I don't want to be reminded. <laughs> <laughs> I'll so be honest. Sometimes it does like a highlight. Uh -huh. And it's like, you went on holiday here, remember? And it's like, oh yeah, I remember that now. Um, so nine years ago, I think was the first time I came down to Bristol. Wow. At the old offices, stayed at the Future Inns, mm -hmm. and went to Cabot Circus, and I could we could see where me and Lewis went out for dinner, all that kind of stuff. Oh. And it was like nine years ago, but I think Sparkles left just before I started coming down. Right, yeah. wow. So it's been, it's been a long time. Uh, and I assume this is his sort of first experience being in the newer office. I guess. I don't know. Maybe Sparkle's been there. I have, but I don't think we'd met. And I've been to every Jiggle Jam for like bloody ages. So uh, I'm not yeah. sure when it was. When, when was the first time that you came down to the Bristol? To the Bristol? It was... Specifically to see the Yogs, not for any other Bristol reason. Right. I, I think 2021 is when I was allowed to step foot because of COVID. Oh, yes. So oh, it, yeah. it was very... Oh, yes. Anyone remember COVID? Any anyone? Anyone? But yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not that long ago. Huh. I haven't got a Google memory or whatever. Google memory. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know what this... I, I, this is the first time I've heard of it. Really? Yeah. Oh, you should have a, have a... If you go on Google Maps and go to my timeline, if you've had your phone and location data active at any point, it's recorded everywhere you've been. No. Yes. Um, wow. Well, is Yogg's car Cyan taking part in the tourney today? I don't know what that means. Uh, so apparently he came down in 2019. Apologies, I didn't. Oh. I must have missed him. But the thing is, bear in mind, Jingle Jam is sometimes it's like weeks and weeks, and I'll be down for a bit. Yeah. Like maybe Sparkles is down for a bit, so we might just miss each other. Right. Yeah. A lot of the time when I'm here and everyone's like, "Oh, you've just missed so and so," uh, but I'd say a lot of people are very much stationed here, so it's. Mm. Uh, Wait, is that me? Oh no, it's not. It's you you don't live. Oh yeah. I do sorry. not. I live Sparkle? in Milton Keynes. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. MK. Have M you been to see the MK Dons? No. No. I they... have zero interest okay. in any kind or form of sport, unless it's snooker. Really? You're a big snooker fan? I used to be, yeah. I used to religiously watch snooker. I, I, I felt like I used to watch it with my grandmother. Yeah, we got it. And, and also Bolt. On a black and white oh, television. Oh, yes, son. Oh, I she had a colour television. <laughs> well, my, my, that old. Well, no, 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 no. I say this because... One of the fun things is watching snooker on a black and white television. You're like, you don't know what balls are going on. Indeed. Indeed. So, and that, that was definitely a thing that my grandparents... You just got mermaid. Look at that. Did you ever watch bowls? Oh, no, the, pretty you know, the indoor bowls. <laughs> indoor bowls? Yeah, so it's like they have like a... It's quite a big hall. They still do it now. Really? And you see the crowd, and it's... Oh, it's so fucking old. Like, it's just... <laughs> are they alive? Yeah, are they're they? also like... And you can tell that, oh, it's the Bowls tournament this weekend, dear. Oh, I didn't even know they hang had. On, hang on. Oh, we've got a game happening. Oh, we've... Apologies. <laughs> Best of five, Tekken, I see. Okay. So this is Tekken, I think Tekken 1. Random H2O. This looks yeah. like Tekken 3 yeah, to sure. me. I don't do that. <laughs> this is Tekken 3. I don't know. Look how shit. Uh, I need to okay. Do so, yeah, oh, no, I think you might be right, because Tekken 1 was Why, really no, low. This is 3. I was right. Okay, this was... He, this, the problem is... Back in so <laughs> look at the graphics. It's the only thing I'm going to be right about today. <laughs> Let me have it. The graphics look... At the time, this was like, oh, I cannot this believe is, how good this looks. This is cutting edge. Look at this. So we've got who is Eddie and who is Law. I wonder. I believe I believe Law is the chap that's dressed like Bruce Lee. Well, I mean, like, is Martin? Oh, I see. Uh, no, Sparkles will be Law, I think, because he's player two. And player two is traditionally on the right. Eddie absolutely rinsing Law there. Look at that. He mm. makes, like, little Bill green like mist when he kicks people. Is that, is that guff? It's, he's guffing it. <laughs> Do we want to hear them talking? It's a bit confusing, I think, Pierre. Oh, uh, uh, we don't want to hear it, no. I don't. Unless they're talking about radiation sickness, I don't want to. I don't want to hear a peep. Thank you, Pierre. Uh, I just feel like otherwise, it's like you're listening to two conversations at once. It's a bit awkward. Mm. Um, I think if things get animated, we could bring it up. Right. But uh, it's it's a bit. Uh, it's it's a bit it's a bit much. I think. Yeah. So wait, this is a best of five. I don't know who won that one. Are they just warming up or? Is this the real? 
Is this the... This is oh, this is it. This How is come it. no one's playing a lad that looks like a lion? I think he was in Tekken, wasn't he? Oh, uh, King. King. Oh, what a guy. They uh, actually released his uh, tracksuit as a, as, as a clothing option. Really? You buy it. When you're telling an anecdote, this, the, 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 the look <laughs> well, I can't let this happen. strong. That's strong. Very strong. And uh, I wish I I wish I could acquire it. Round one to Law here. Eddie going for a bit. I feel like Eddie's doing Capoeira. That is a Capoeira. Cause yeah. It, in Tekken, was it Tekken 5? They introduced Christy, who is a, a, a female. A female. A female. <laughs> She's a female she in my a... video game. <laughs> Females. Nobody like. Nobody wants females. Females. I don't relate. I do not relate. But they, yeah, Christy was the capoeira. Um, Look at this shit. Oh, fucking love Yoshimitsu. Big fan. Big fan. A really hard person to play with. Uh, okay, we're going. All right, Paul, Eddie, Paul. Paul. I love it when their names are just like. <laughs> Nigel. Bob. Keith. There's, there is a Bob in uh, Tekken, I think introduced in Tekken 5. L larger larger man. Round boy. There's the lion. It's a tiger. It's a tiger. I misremember. Oh, dear. Well, I oh, hello. Whoop. Horang. Yep. Horang, yep. Horang is an easy... I feel like this is cheating somewhat. I think Law and Horang are... Uh, Kind of like you can easy mode. Yeah, you can spam. You can spam this. There isn't really too much intelligence going into any of these moves. It's just all kicking. All right, lol. Secure. I feel, I feel like this is kung fu versus taekwondo. That's what it feels like. That's the vibe I'm getting from that. Fight. <laughs> I like how this setup is. Uh, you know, the the actual. At least we've got this view. Although we can't really tell what what's going on there. Um, I like the way Lord celebrations him just kind of. Like, I hope uh, I hope we get a Horang win. They're, they're, come on, come on. See, like that, that's some that's some, some Kwando right that there. That is Kwando. That is Law just kicking up. I, I actually wanted to learn Taekwondo based on Horang. Horang from this game because I was very into Tekken <sighs> as a as a youngster. <sighs> I wanted to be Yoshimitsu. <laughs> He's or, got a sword. I mean, that's just not playing fair. Did Sparkles win? Is I think so. I, I mean, they, Martin sat down. Uh, who won? I'm pretty sure it was Sparkles. Really? Sparkles won? He was Law, <laughs> right? Okay, is, there, is there any way we can find out who's winning or do we care? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, go and do a record. We just, just tell them that we need them to hold up a piece of paper and tell us who won. Yes, we could have like winner as a... Yes, hand someone a winning thing and they like go... And then we know. Yes. I'm not going to be keeping score. No, I, I think that's a, I, I, is there is there a champion of this? Are we. Yeah, we'll nominate one. I think I think we get losers and winners in here for a chat. I think is oh, a thing that's I, happening. Oh, I see. So is Sparkles coming to talk to it? Ah, okay. What do we are? We weren't paying attention to the magic. Hello. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, we were definitely. <laughs> Definitely very, uh, very enthralled. Yeah, what a series, what a game. Um, I mean, how did it feel? I mean, it, it, for me, mm. I felt like um, it, I was always going to win that. Um, I gave him a chance to win a couple it of games. It looked like you were feeding him a couple of dubs. He was, he was playing a different character each time, which was kind of giving him that, like, beginner's luck. Right. Yes, yes. But, I mean, you know, he was always going to lose. Yeah, gonna some lose. nice moves. Obviously, a character you're familiar I was, with. I was cheesing mm. a bit. Yeah. Right, a lot of kicks. We noticed a lot of we, kicks. We, this is what? it. I, I saw... And then the, the sparkly kick. Mm, well, I... Were you actually commentating on it? That's so yes, cool. No, we yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we were, we, were having a, we were having a little look. You know, we were talk We didn't realize at first what was going on, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I would. Look I can see Martin there. Like, he is just, he looks like he's lost. He's he doesn't furious. look happy. Does he? he looks. He's like saying, a yeah, loser. I, on another day I would have won, but yeah, what a <laughs> yeah. joke. He's saying, Sophie, did you see? I almost had him at one point. I had him yeah. up against Wall, but oh, he, he, he would just mash kick. Yeah, well, when like, he was Eddie Gordo, kick. I was I got worried yeah. because that guy's so easy to play. Yeah. Like you have to, you can't, you know, it's difficult not to win as him. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh wow. I think he was trying not to win. That's <laughs> wow. the only explanation for that level of play. So your is Law a character that you would usually? Yeah, I started playing Law in Tekken Tekken One back yeah. in uh, PlayStation One days. Nice. nice. Um, and then uh, yeah, like, he's just easy to play, and he? he's just you know. Any. I could beat myself. He's, he's a lovely boy, beat lovely myself. lad. Well, but... you, you took him to Law School. <laughs> oh. I, I took. I, I I passed the bar. He passed the bar um, into his face. face. <laughs> 
very nice. Well, um, yeah, impressive. Thank you. Thank I, you. I think he felt. Do I win anything? Or just uh, the glory? You win that you can ask someone in the office to get me some water because I forgot to get that. That's that. What a prize. <laughs> yeah. If you could do the Congratulations. I hope so you So my prize, prize is that you're going to have just some water. Just get Dav to bring me some water. Yeah, I'll go find him. Say please. I would say please. So it, it's, I would ask nicely. Sure. But sure. I, I would love it if you could do it, please. I can do that. Thanks. I can do that. Am Congrats I, on the yeah, prize. Would well you like done. me to leave now? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Unless go. you have anything interesting to say about radiation poisoning. Radiation poisoning? Yeah, what's your thought? I, I'm not a fan. Oh. All right, well, or we, am I supposed to be a fan? Uh, yeah. What's the correct answer? It's not good, is it? <laughs> it's all right. Thank you. No, but would you want it? <laughs> That's not the point. Look, you, look you're, you off, the, you're off camera, so that means Pierre wants you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Sparkles. Thank you very much. Um, oh, well, yeah, I, I, think, I think Martin fell down at using Yoshimitsu. Very hard character to play with. Mm. You know, he ends up just standing on his stick, uh, sword even, sorry. Um, well, no, I think it, it basically has the effectiveness of a stick. Uh, yeah, he's just sort of perched upon. Barely worth having, really. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we've got Lollip in the studio. There's, there's yep, Lollip. There's Lollip. So that's, that's another contender. So I wonder if um, hopefully we'll get somebody else to match against Lollip. I would like to see some Street Fighter 2, in all honesty. Oh, okay. Because that, that your... that's my era of fighting game. You guys may be Tekkenites, mm -hmm. but I am a Street Fighter main. You are a, you like to fight in yeah. the streets. That grew up, you know, that, that came up when I was a young lad growing up. One of my best arcade moment involved Street Fighter 2. I'm going to bore you with oh, this really? story. Oh, really? Okay. Though, no, mate. no, no. Absolutely. This was Go in ahead. Swanage Arcade. Anyone in Dorset knows Swanage Arcade. Swanage. <laughs> it's a place. It's on the seafront. Very and nice. And I was in there. I was playing Street Fighter 2. I'm just playing against the, the, the computer because my mates don't want to play. Um, and they're behind me and they're just watching. And this lad comes in and puts his 20p in. Challenger. And he like presses two players. So now we have to fight each other. <gasps> and it's like winner stays on because if you lose, you don't put more money in. No. You like, you back out graciously. You do, yes, absolutely. He's playing uh, Ryu. I'm playing, I'm, my main is Blanka. It's a good choice. Um, because Blanka has two moves that are, are fantastic. Electricity. Oh. Electricity. Yes. And he has a really long range ground punch, which hits like a truck. I smashed him. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, pop that on. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. How did that go? So, what <sighs> happened, Mark? That went when you saw me get absolutely domed. Oh, I looked close. <laughs> we... hey, to be fair, you know what? I surprised myself. I wanted to play Puzzle Bubble. Sparkles was like, Love no, Puzzle Bubble. let's play Tekken. Aww. I think Puzzle Bubble would be a good shout. I think you should play that against someone else. Rematch. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Well, I went in there, like, coach got me ready for it. He said, you know, punch low, kick high, and apparently Sparkles did the same thing. And, you know, I like toes, but not that many in my face at the same time. Yeah. Making me bleed, so. So, so did you know that Tekken 3, and specifically that character, is like his thing? Oh, what, is Sparkles' thing? Yeah. Oh, no wonder he asked for it then. Yeah. Right. So, right. yeah, were you... Because your first character you played, Ad, was, was Eddie, and apparently yeah. Sparkles was actually like, ooh, hold on a second. And I, went, I went for a meta pick to begin with. Like, Eddie's Eddie's the guy, because you yes. can't low kick a guy if he's only doing a handstand. It's just, exactly. it's not ethical. So I thought, <laughs> if I'm just make, giving him moral quandaries the whole time, he's not going to know what to do. So. Well, yeah, maybe he's maybe Sparkles is feeling terrible about you know the the easy win then you know. Oh no, he won't feel bad. He'll be happy he's dumped on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, he was very sure. uh, magnanimous. Yes. Oh no, he was very gracious. Yeah. Gracious. Um, I was. I was That's just a change saying, of pace. I was just saying though. I think. I think you fell a little bit short when you picked Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu yeah. is a very hard character to play with. Yeah. I thought it was go big or go home at that point. And he's yeah. kind of gained some momentum and mm. yeah, I fell at the hurdle. He can be very strong if you know how to play him, but. Uh, I thought going Eddie was a good shout at one point. I thought like I kind of got similar uh, similar beard, not quite the <laughs> straight up hair. Oh, Paul. Maybe Oh, Paul, that's it. Yeah. God, why did I say the wrong name? Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to just gel this up as much as I can and then come back and play as Paul. You think you look like Eddie. That's interesting. Hey, I don't see colour, so what can I say? But yeah, Paul's a strong look. You know, get yourself a, you know, some gel. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Start growing. I think we're looking through the game choices now. I've asked if Puzzle Bubble is on there, because if so, I want to It'll be on there, buddy. Oh, thank you, Dad. I'm going to go lick my wounds. Okay, thank you, Martin. Thank you. Well, I hope, oh. Hopefully you'll get a rematch. Better luck next time. Get some Puzzle Bobble on there and we'll yes. see a dub. Yes.
I wonder who is going to be going next. Oh, God, I needed that. <laughs> it's actually just fodder. Oh. <laughs> this is the mood of today. Apologies. We, uh, we're... we're um... They're used to it. They're used to it. I That's mean, honestly, true. every time I come down here, everyone's like, pub, 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 pub. I know. There isn't really... And I'm like, guys, I don't want to go to the pub. But they drag me down there and I end up staying. Kicking, and, and, s- kicking and screaming. It's it's such a shame. It's very oh, hard. It is hard. It is hard. He added some radiation for a little pep. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. So I was trying to describe to you, because we, we briefly touched upon the demon core, but there's a, a, a gentleman that was a Jap- Japanese gentleman. Uh, named Hisashi Ochi, and it was a freak accident at a Japanese nuclear plant more than 20 years ago. It exposed a technician to the highest levels of radi- radiation ever suffered by a human being. Um, and I, I just want to, I just want to uh, find what, what actually ha- happened. Um, so. He was helping a colleague pour liters of uranium into a big metal vase. That sounds safe. That sounds like Mr. Burns's nuclear power plant on the ceiling. It does, doesn't it? Like leaking through the ceiling and, you know. (laughs) Um, But that was in 1999. Mm. So it's actually not too long ago. Um, Thank you for saying that. That's the year I finished university. Oh, is it? Oh. 24 years ago. Oh, I finished. I graduated 12. Oh, maybe longer now. Years do happen, don't they? Yeah. Um... 2012 is when I graduated. Good Lord. So. I had two children by then. My goodness. Yeah. I have zero. Uh, but he was kept alive for 83 days. By what? By, so they, they kept uh, giving him, I think his sister donated her marrow. And. Just they, to try to keep him alive? Yeah. I mean, he's doomed, right? I think that's the thing. A lot of people are very like, ooh, it's questionable. They shouldn't have kept him alive for so long. Well, I mean, what did, was he like, kill me? And they were like, no. <laughs> no, no, we're going to have a look. No, we're gonna I want to know what's going to happen. Um, no, so I think I think he was, uh, by a certain point, wasn't able to speak. Mm. He was able to write and not even communicate at all at, uh, eventually. But I think he was determined to possibly pull through. Because as we were saying, you can't really treat radiation sickness you have to just deal with the the symptoms of it god so they were giving him skin grafts and <sighs> stop making us feel old sorry this is a very depressing conversation oh, they're playing tetris. while tetris is going on in the background yeah. and then um, his skin sloughed off his body is that how you pronounce it slough i think it's sloughed hmm, some lizards do that is it slough or slough i think it's slough not slough Surely. Well, honestly, That's whoever's on the left is is dumpstering whoever's on the right. Oh, this is a tricky one. Oh. Sophie's making a pretty picture, but I don't know. Hmm. Oh, look. Dav is all concentration. Yeah, that's that's a that's a man with a with a. Oh with no a no no no! Okay, yep. Yeah, she's oh. waiting on a on a long straight oh, bit. Oh, oh my god, that's that. Oh All right. wow! What a banger! Who 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 made that song? Who? The Russians. Was it a Russian? The whole of Russian. They all got together. So did you watch that movie about Tetris? I didn't. It's actually. So I, I thought it was interesting, um, but uh, the guy that made it just made it for like the people in his office, oh. and he knocked it up on I can't remember what computers they were using back then in Russia, but um, it was literally just like uh, oh this might be a bit of fun. And he knocked it up, it's very cute, and people would be like you know you should have this, and he was like oh yeah good idea and all that kind of stuff, and then they were it, it took off from there, and people were like this is amazing, this could really be a big thing. Mm. The Russian government because this was at the height of shit, you know what I mean, Cold War and all that. Well, like, no, 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 we own it. And the American guy was like, well, I bought it and I want to be able to sell it. And it was right. like, the, if you, the, all the rights and everything was so complicated, we would never have had Tetris, but luckily we, we do. Luckily, luckily. Because l- it is a, oh, Sophie, no, 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 no. What is, what is she doing? Oh, okay. Oh, hello, she got one. That's nice. That's nice. 
Oh no! What is that? <laughs> Head in hands moment. <laughs> I was gonna say she. Oh really, no! She oh, really, she's floundering. oh, she's fucked it. <laughs> she is floundering. Look at her. Has she ever played an arcade game in her life? Probably not, because she's not old. <laughs> I mean, honestly, fair enough not being good at arcade games, because you just don't need to play them anymore. She stormed off, I think. I think she's she's actually No, enough. she's back. Okay, oh, okay. she's back. Well, I, I've got to be honest. I'm not actually very good at Tetris. It's very simplistic in nature, but I feel like you've got to... You've got to understand shapes. That's a good point. I, I mean, I think the main thing is... When the Game Boy came out, mm. I had Tetris and I think Super Mario Brothers, maybe one other game. I didn't have many games for it because they were very dear. But I had Tetris mm. and it was, in my opinion, the best version of Tetris. Okay. Um, the one on the Game Boy. It was so, so, so good. Yes. And you could just play it all day. And I went to... You know, I stopped using my Game Boy. My mum would still play Tetris in the evenings. She'd sit on the sofa. Da, 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 da. And then I went off to university. I came back. She, she still, still had the Tetris. <laughs> She's still playing it. And then I would like, you know, we moved away. And occasionally I'd come back. And there was a drawer where she, she used to keep her mints in there. Like humbug mints or like Why, sofa it, mints. I, d I love how, I feel like we've lost this. What? Drawers. <laughs> Mints. Keeping keeping mints in drawers. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't happen anymore. It doesn't. But you'd open the drawer and mum would have a bag of mints there. You know what I mean? Love it, yes. Um, but the uh, the Game Boy was still there. And it was like taped up. And she'd done like little mini repairs. And she had batteries for it and stuff like that. She bought like a rechargeable battery thing for the Tetris. The Game Boy took four AA batteries. Yes, four. they were big. Because they, they were big chunky boys. Yeah, and it burned through them. Um, and because it, it had no backlight, you mm. just had to have good light. So she got a lamp to light. So she do, 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 played Tetris. She ran that thing into the ground. Like, if you want to talk about value for money, my mum, the Game Boy, and Tetris, <laughs> you could write an essay on value for money for that shit. That's incredible. Yeah. I, I loved, uh, I was going to say, actually, thinking back about, uh, I had a Game Boy Advance. Mm. My sister had a Game Boy. She had, um, I think, a few Game Boys. Um, we all know who the favorite child was, currently. <laughs> Um, but I had a Game Boy Advance, and I remember you could buy the little lights that you could affix yes. to the top of... Good use of affix. I, yes. I, we don't use affix, unless it's like an instruction. Right. Affix so this sticker to the front of your new car or whatever. <laughs> affix. I it's, like it. It's an underused word. I it is. Do that. As, as well, is coagulate. Like oh, yeah. That's a lovely one. Oh, yeah. It's a good word. Um, but yeah, just trying to not disturb, I think... You know, I was terrified. I don't know if this is the case for you, but I was terrified of putting the the light on in a car. Oh God! Because I think as as a father, you'll understand it's very dangerous. You don't do it. Yeah, it's a dangerous thing. So for anyone that doesn't know, anyone that doesn't drive, mm. if you're driving, especially if it's like nighttime, <laughs> yes. if you turn the inside light on, it, oh, oh, you no, can't see. It's blinding. It's literally like it comes on, and then you're lighting the windscreen from the wrong side. So it's like you know when you're at night. Mm. And you've got your curtains open. Mm. And the light, you can't see outside. It's, it's, it acts as a mirror. Yes, it mirrors. Uh, the light is affixed to the, the, the <laughs> glass and reflects. <laughs> so having the light, it's like, turn that off! Turn that off, boy. And you start weaving the card to dramatically reinforce. <laughs> I am out of control! It, there's something that, that not only is a switch, switch uh, the light switched on, but something switches within you. Yes. That makes you unable to have autonomy and yeah. body control. You just shut down. You shit yourself. <laughs> Everyone's, everyone's, everyone's furious. But um, no, I, I think that was the thing. I was kind of, I was terrified that I would distract my father from driving. So it's very like, you, you know, put a blanket over you and sort of do it in secret. Yeah. To make sure that I wasn't going to uh, cause any accidents. I, th I think, you know what? I, I, um, I was, I was very young when when we moved here, mm. and my mum and and uh, and, my, and my sister, we didn't have a car. So we didn't go on like road trips or anything mm. like that. So I didn't really have too much memory of the family arguments in a car and all that kind of stuff. But now I have kids. When you have kids in the back of the car, she's not on my side, all that kind of stuff. Wow. Why stop elbowing me? She took my crisp, all that, and you're driving the car. And the funny thing is, is 
for some reason, you just overreact massively to anything. It's like, oh, I'm trying to drive the car! Like it's the most complicated, like I'm trying to defeat have, a bomb or something. Well, I have to turn the radio down if it's too loud because I can't drive. Right. If I'm, if I'm navigating, you know, especially the street, the roads of Bristol. Right. It has to be lowered to a... a a temperature really? that is comfortable for me because I'm like I can't think. So you, you, for you, driving really is like I must concentrate on. Well, it depends. It depends if it's if it's something complicated. If, mm. if I'm on a motorway, no worries. It's it's all straight ahead, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you're not gonna crash into anyone else. But um, but yeah, yeah. I, I would say you know I can I can agree. I can imagine having two two children. It's very annoying. Arguing or it's di- very annoying. Disagreeing and let alone. Yeah. Them switching on a light. I know. I'd lose it. I'd or, lose it. what my eldest did occasionally was she'd be bored and she'd just hit the door switch and the door would open. We're on the motorway and her door opens and because we hadn't put the child locks on yet. And we were like, ah, oh, shit. So we had, we had to figure out how to do that. You know when you open the rear door? Yes. It's just a little plastic switch. You just switch it up yes. or down. That's it. But um, I, I, it was like the door opened. How genius, by the way. How do they? How does that little bit of plastic work how do you mean well so all all it does is disable the inside handle well how well so i guess there's just you just flick it and something lifts out of the way so that whatever lever it's meant to be pulling is literally no longer touching the inside lever i would assume i'm not a mechanic but um but yeah and it was like the door was open i was driving and i suddenly see my door in my side mirror i was like what the fuck and she was like and of course you don't want to reach out no close the door so i had to do a little like that to get the momentum oh, of the kind door. Oh, like in GTA. Yeah, and yeah, then we were that's... like, "What are you doing?" That's nice. That's it was a, a, it was a, a nice, maneuver. It, it was a nice move. Are you secretly hoping that she does it again? No. <laughs> right. No, but but obviously now they're older, we had to turn off the switch because mm. it feels ridiculous. And also, if, like if my mom or someone is in the back of the car, <laughs> oh, uh, congrats, Dad. Well done. Sorry, we're talking about child locks. There's Martin. Everyone's looking. Well, Sophie looks defeated. Ashamed. That's right. You can sit down. Are we getting an interview with yes. uh, with Dav? The boy is coming do, in. Do you think he's going to bring you more water? I don't know. I don't need any at the moment, though. Okay, fair. Um, but yeah, interesting how that works. But yes, I agree. It would be quite embarrassing for your mother to be sat in the... <laughs> Waiting to be let out of here. <laughs> Uh, the funniest thing is now with my, my youngest gets even now she gets travel sick so mm. she has to sit in the front mm. and Mrs F has to sit in the back with my eldest right. which is a little embarrassing for her but it's meant that I've had to promote my youngest to chief navigator wow that's a that's a heavy responsibility it is, but she's very good at it my eldest useless she gets distracted she her mind wanders she just stops paying attention but my youngest is like on it next left and she'll be like uh left at the roundabout in 50 yards i was like thanks love like she she's all over it wow yeah it's great uh, i thought you have meant- oh yes, yes! Done. what well, a victory what a what a whipping well oh. done. You watched it all, yeah? Oh, yes, mate. You, oh, yeah, much, we were... did, did you see the double track t- Tetris it, it was, I did? It was ridiculous. It was, gr- yeah, yeah. It was wow. really good, wasn't yeah, it? it was yeah. sick. Um, we did notice on the stream, we were watching on our screen, and just you two were over all of the action, and looked like you couldn't really see the Tetris. It was, do you know on TikTok you have um, subway surfers? You have like a video, and then you have like a nice visual oh, thing. Oh, yes. To kind of hold your attention while the content's going on. Yes. I felt like the Tetris was the subway surface. Oh, and, and yes. And the content was you two. That's interesting. We were talking um, about child locks. Yeah, <laughs> we were talking about the child locks on cars. But Do you... This is Puzzle Bobble, baby. This is my jam. Ah, Let's go. So are you are you, uh, are you avid Tetris player, Dave? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was under-16 ch- Tetris champion of uh, Canton, the area I, I grew up. Is that up. actually true? In Waterloo. Well, we used to go to this thing called Waterloo Hall. Um, every Thursday, and I was the Tetris champion. So Sophie stood the, no chance. Oh, absolutely not. I yeah. She like made a lot of rookie mistakes. It was just, it was, it was um, sloppy. Um, it was irresponsible the way she was playing. Um, she will be coming in. Ooh, Nina's just popping in with a with a big roll. Hello, what? Nina. What is that? It's the Nimbus 2000. Uh, it's huge. What is this? Hey guys, it's um, a roll for photo shoots. It's like a big white screen. Are you gonna hang it now? No, no, no. Oh, okay. 
photo shoot. It's like, there's like painting and decorating going on in the background. It's a, a wallpaper in, in the background. <laughs> um, so when I, PFLAX, when I asked you to do this stream, I was like, classic poker, poker um, style stream where we play games in the background yeah. and then you chat about like Star Trek or whatever. Right. What has been the main topic of conversation? Radiation right? poison. Radiation <laughs> sickness. <laughs> sickness. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I thought, yeah. That would, I thought that would come up, obviously. So th this is legit what a great game. Look, Martin's on the left, I think. He is destroying. Oh my goodness. Martin wasn't kidding. No, this is, honestly, this is, so the, the this is Puzzle Bobble which is obviously as you see, but mm. the, the, the characters, the little dinosaurs were also in Bubble Bobble. These these lads love bubbles. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so you shoot the bubbles and as you can see, they adhere and you have to try, you can see what's coming next and you have to try and get like three Zs and four Zs. Look at this, he, the angling on whoever's on the right, it's they're new. off. Absolute new. They're off yeah. and they're just building a nightmare for themselves. Look at Martin building up. Get it, there's the green. Wow. Oh was, my that goodness. Was, that was hot. That was sexy. It reminds me of a game called Beehive Bedlam oh. on the Sky TV. <laughs> <laughs> you play it with a Sky <laughs> what? remote. Really? It's basically this. Oh, yeah. he's having a moment. It's a blast from the past. I had put so many hours into that game. <laughs> and I was, I, there was at one point a competition going on for like a, I think you, you know, if you got a certain score, you, you'd win something. I feel like it was like a games console at the time. But I, I, I put, I wasted my life. Beehive. You could have gone. Are you saying you could have gone pro. I could have gone pro. <laughs> could have gone pro with the pro I, scene. There's a big pro scene. Is that on this on this machine? Do we know this cabinet? We need. I need Beehive bedlam. I'll, I'll have a look. Have a look. I'll have a look. All right. Congrats. Thanks Dad. very well much. Done. Um, yes. Cheers for watching. Um, uh, yeah, um, we paid for watching attention. So much. Yeah. Um, Sophie's going to come in for a little losers interview. All right. Yeah. Um, a losers so interview. Get her in. I think it's the first time Sophie's been on stream as well. So. Oh really? Okay. Well, ah. we'll make it. It's a big moment. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, Thank Dad. you, well Becky. Done. Machines are awesome. There's a link in the chat if you want one. And thanks for the water. Uh, we, no problem. Can we actually buy one ourselves? Yeah, yeah, you can. If you use code no Yoxcast, you get 10 percentiles off wow. price. Wow. My wife would be furious if I turned up with an arcade cabinet, but I'm going to do it anyway. Check it out. Thank you, Pete Flags. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. you, you oh, this I... could be trouble for young Mark. Oh, no, he uh, set it up. He, he set he it up. Knows, oh, he's he way knows what he's doing. Him. Sophie! Yeah, welcome! How, yeah. Pop How's that on. Uh, so, Sophie, is this your first time on stream? I think it is, yeah. Aww. Can you just move the mic a little bit closer? There you go. She doesn't know what she's doing. It's her first time on stream. Hi. So, hello. Okay, so I need to explain something. Here right. we go. First time on stream, you know, it was a lot of pressure. You've got people in the background. You've got Lewis backseat Tetris. Oh, oh no, well. of course. Okay. <laughs> this is the detail we needed to hear. We did not, we did not know. We, we were like, what is she doing? What is she doing? The Lewis is like, go left, go right. And it's like, oh. what are you yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all him. It was all him. Men. They just never shut up. My earring come out halfway through. <laughs> yes, I saw some ear-related mishap. I didn't know it was an earring mishap. <laughs> so I thought you just got an itchy ear. Your <laughs> earring came out. Yeah, it just flew out. That's how vigorous <laughs> oh the Oh, my is. God. <laughs> Tetris is extreme sport. It is, it really That's is. rough. Dang. Uh, okay, well. So yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. But I think I warmed up towards the end. Yeah, you were getting, you you were were getting, getting it. it, yeah. But did you know that Dav was like under 16's champion of his area? Oh yeah, right. Oh. Which is also my area. <laughs> No way. <laughs> so you you all know this already. It's this, famous. This is done. like, yeah, I was going to say, so it's not actually like, uh, you weren't surprised. No, no. When, when you're growing up, they're like, look, if you stay inside and play enough video games, you could end up like that David Hobday. Right. Oh, there you go. Nobody wants to That's what the like kids that. are big Smart leagues. I see, I see. Oh, sorry. You mean in a positive way. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Don't waste your life away. <laughs> you like, end up like that, Dav. Like, like Dav. Yeah. Um, well, I, I think, you know, have you played a lot of Tetris before? Or was that sort of like your first? Oh, that's the first time, actually. Right. That's that's a I, lie. Ever... Sophie's no, no, lying. No, 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 I can no, tell no, when she's no, lying. No, no, no. Well, I think you did surprisingly well if that was your first go at it. See, she's lying. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I know her well enough to know when she's lying now. <laughs> Ryan spotted it straight away. Well, it was, uh, we you know, the bits that we did pay attention to. It was it was an entertaining watch, yeah, um, yeah. but you did hand it to Dav, I think, a little I, bit. I, you know what I would like to see? I would. And this is not a not a flame at all. A little practice and come back and whip him. Because okay. if you beat mm. Dav at his favourite game, I think mm. that would be good content. Is that his favourite game? He he's under 16's champion of Canton. 
Canton Manor. Yeah. I love that you know what that is. Oh, well, I don't. He, he told us. <laughs> 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 um, we'll be there for the next championships. Yeah, uh, we we go every year. We do, of course. Can yeah. Canton is a beautiful place. He is, is still it? competing oh. in the under 16 championship, though. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know. And they haven't clocked yet. Yeah. It just keeps going back year and year, but he's so youthful, you know. It's under 16 IQ is the problem. Ah, I see. <laughs> That's like champion. I see, yeah. yes. Ah, well, we might see you there one day, cool. Soph. Thank but well thanks. done. It was. Thanks, uh, and congrats on uh, your first stream. As yeah, well. good job. Well done. <laughs> thanks, Sophie. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Keep up the good commentary. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Fantastic. We'll commentary. try, we'll try. So we've got. Sparkles and Martin is still playing Bubble Bobble. Bob no, that's Puzzle Bobble. Oh, right. Bubble Bobble is the platformer where you shoot bubbles. I see. So what's, what's this? Is Streets of Rage. Street. Nice. This is a classic. It's a very um, and this is all included in the in the cabinet, which is amazing, isn't but it? They, yeah, it is. But they also appear to be playing together. Ooh. <laughs> this is is Streets of Rage the one with Hagar in? Uh, Mayor you, Hagar. You've lost me. Unfortunately. Chat, what was the side scrolling beat em up? Because this Double Dragon was the big one. And then Hagar, Final Fight. Thank you. Final Fight. Ah. Yes. It's for similar ilk, is it? Very similar. Mayor Hagar is just a big lad. He's the mayor. Right. It might be Hagar. I thought it was Hagar. But he's literally, he's just wearing his vest, but his work trousers and work shoes. Oh, fucking hell. He out. just <laughs> chucks in there and just wallops, lads. Dang, okay. Look at this. Oh, wow. This is this is what the police were like in uh, 1987 or whenever this Right. Was. I didn't realize that they had... Standard riot control procedure. They just rain fire. <laughs> rain fire! All right, chief. <laughs> Yeah, wow, okay, yeah, they've got... Stinger rockets. RPGs. Why are they just being chilling? Aren't they going to try and move? What are they doing? That's, that's the pine pot. <laughs> Whatever that pine pot is. Pine pot. Breakfast. <laughs> so, oh, shit, what a move! I like how I've read breakfast for the first time. Breakfast. Like, breakfast. Breakfast? Hmm. Breakfast. What is breakfast? Look at this. What? up? Guessing they're trying to work out the controls. The, the, I think this is where I would fall down. I'm glad I'm not playing because I there's a lot of buttons on that thing. So there are six buttons on each uh, and the joystick and a trackball as well. For anyone that doesn't know, on the on the machine you can see them there on the screen, bottom left. Um, when I played Double Dragon, it was just the top three: kick, jump, punch. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, any Double Dragon aficionados know that there's one move you need to know. You face away from the enemy, you press jump and punch at the same time. You give them one of those. Ooh! And if they walk into it, like Walla, they it'll, you can knock out three lads with the with the people's elbow. But um, Streets of Rage, I don't I don't know the controls. One thing they used to have, OZ, mm. did you ever go to an arcade? Yes. Like I've... the ones with the shove pennies and all the rest oh, of it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. like where but they actually, had games like this and Pac-Man and shit like I've, that. I've been to a couple. They they exist still. Yeah. But, you know, there's actually a bar in um, Bristol. Yes, Kongs. And Well, even better, there's NQ64 Ooh. that is completely oriented around cabinets. Where's that? Uh, it's, what street is it on? How far is it from here? About two minutes. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I might go then. Yes. Um, we'll we'll go sometime. Yeah, we'll go so, sometime. So I have I have played on cabinets and you know okay. the like. So often on the side of the cabinet, there would be instructions. Right. Yes. And there'd be like a little panel either up here or here above the control mm, of how saying, to. Saying yeah, these are the moves. Mm. But for something like Street Fighter, there were too many controls. Oh, the. Because there's all the characters, they all have special moves. And all that shit, you know? <laughs> so you can't fit all that in the cabinet. So you would have to buy a games magazine and it would give you the instructions. Yes. Well, uh, did you ever read the little booklet that came in your with your game? Depended on the game. I liked, I, I was going to say, sometimes you got one and it was thick. You know, you, you knew you were you were in for a. This is a treat, or it's in eighteen languages. And yes, the instructions are very short. <laughs> that's yeah. true. Bubsy 3D <laughs> yeah. in eighteen languages. <laughs> How do I play this terrible game? Um, oh, and, oh, getting a new game as well. Nothing smells quite like a new game. It's true. You'd open that box. It would make mm. that farting noise when you open it. Yeah, lovely. And, yeah, you'd uh, get the CD out, pop that in, mm. start installing it, and meanwhile. Why not read the booklet or have a look at the fold-out map? There was no installation. Yeah, there was. No. On a PC. 
Oh, I'm You're talking console. I'm talking console, yeah. baby. Yeah. Like no installation times whatsoever. Yeah, that was one of the biggest selling points I think of consoles. Yeah, it always has been that you just put it in and you play. Well, it's not the case anymore. You've got to wait. Really? You've got to wait. You've got to wait. You know, got Baldur's Gate three. You've got to download and install that 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 big boy. Really? Yeah. Have you played it on the console? Yeah, it's it's weird. Yes. It's kind of like playing a third person. RPG. It's not real time, is it? It's still turn based fights. And yes. All the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds dog shit. Why wouldn't you just use them out? <laughs> I, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I think I prefer to play it um, on PC, but it's it still it still works surprisingly well. Oh, look at these lads. Oh Are my they horses? Goodness. Are these some kind of horsemen? <laughs> horsemen? Oh, they're very they're very un are they boomerangs? I think those are, are they those look like boomerangs. These are what Australians look like. They wear denim. They throw <laughs> boomerangs. Double denim boomerangs. They kind of look like horses. <laughs> just just checking. Anyone from Australia? Is this, do, do, this is what you do? It's all true. Has anyone ever been to a pine pot? What is a pine pot? Well, apparently they do breakfast and it's a d and a diner. So. All right, so they were playing Streets of Rage. Not competitive, no, so not really... Not really. I don't know why we're, we're playing that, Laz. Let's get with the program. Yeah, come on. This is, this is fight to the death. <clears throat> We've also got Fion. I had a boomerang. Did you? Yeah, I did. Do you know how to use a boomerang? Uh, yes, you, you could. It's all, it's all... Basically, it's how you hold it is a big thing. And then it, it's about the angle that you, of release and how much speed. And it also the conditions have to be quite good if there's too much wind it doesn't really work but they really do work it really does come back the problem then is i didn't have a glove for catching it Ooh. this was on the beach was it so you just throw it and when it starts coming back you dive for cover <laughs> it embeds itself in the sand and then you just pick it up and throw it again right they are, they are really impressively uh, cool i was gonna say i've never used a boomerang hmm well uh, end of conversation then. <laughs> I'm not interested in talking to you any further <laughs> about this. Um, I'd, I think I, I'd be terrible at it. No, it's really, it's, 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 it's not that difficult. I mean, if the Australians can do it, quite frankly, anyone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I, I love you, Australians. I, I, you know, it's nice, actually. I still get a bunch of Australians watching my streams. Um, Lewis is vaping. <laughs> The boomerang. What is that noise? Yeah, it sounds very. It's suck sucking sound. What? Sarah! Sarah! Yay! Wonder what Sarah's playing. That that noise is so annoying. I want to know what game it was. <laughs> I want to. I want to know what this game is. This this this. Did you see that from Sophie? That's when you ask someone to do something and you go, could you do so-and-so, please? And then you put your hands behind your back and you go like that. That's, that's uh, Sophie. That's how Sophie gets people to do things. Oh. She'll be like, can you do so-and-so? And she does that. Is that what you did when you asked for your water? No, I just said, water! Where's Ma my water? Water. Um, yeah, so there is, an ar there is an arcade, a proper arcade bar in Bristol. And you should go. It's there very two. I'd say two. But uh, Kong's isn't really an arcade, but it's kind of a. It's got. It's got. It's got a few games. It enables some. Some gamery. Some gamering. But you know what's annoying is that they cost money. Like I'm not being funny. I I, I get it, but. I mean, you're already spending money. I'm already spending people. That's uh, the you draw. Can get food in there. You can yeah. get booze in there. But it's like it's like twenty p or, or a quid, and you just think, just make the. How much can you make from them? Because they just sit there unused. Yeah, I just think it's just kind of a waste because how much are you really making? Also, a, a who's night? got twenty p or a quid yeah. on them? No, who carries cash? Like it's just silly. Well, also, I'd say as well, Bristol prices. Oh, you tend not to get any change. Well, it's not not. I mean, it, I, I'm used to London prices. Uh, yes. Where I bought three drinks, and it was fourteen quid <laughs> for three pints. Oof. Yeah, so Oof. it's like. Oh my god! Yeah, U.S. prices are silly. I don't know what's happening to America right now, but it used to be some of you go on holiday and say, "Wow, everything's so cheap." Yeah, it's now not the case. I went there and I was like, "This makes London look cheap." This yeah. is how expensive it was. It was ridiculous. Even eating the most basic food, yeah, is is you know it's it's very expensive. Yeah. very very expensive. So yes, that is cheap for London. It is cheap for London. Do you know what the most expensive point I ever had in London? How much do you think it was? <sighs> the most expensive. Yeah. 
I mean, the last time I went out for a pint in London, it was probably about seven or eight quid. Yeah, so I got a pint for twelve pounds. Oh. <laughs> and I said to, I turned up. We were, we, this was at the the National Theatre on the South Bank. And we went to the, we were at the bar. I met my mates there. They had a pint each. And I came in and said, "Does anyone want a drink?" And they were like, "Oh, just just get your own." I was like, oh, "Fair enough." Twelve quid. And this was about fifteen years ago, so it was probably a hundred quid by now. Oh, this is a, a tad loud. Uh, PF. This is this. This is terrifying. This is really scary. This is um. So and shit. <laughs> that's yeah, so that's better, Pia. Thank perfect, you. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I think Sophie is using one of the the gun controllers. They both are. They but, are. But they're not really working. Oh, oh gosh. This is ter- is this a Jurassic Park? So unless Sophie has oh. They lose. I think so. <laughs> Question mark? Not sure. So, the, by the way, these cabinets, no word of a lie, I think probably have, it felt like a hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah, and hundreds. it's endless. Oh, so that was what I was going to say. Sorry, just to backtrack. Um, the trouble is with sort of tr- traditional cabinets is that you've got one game and one game only. That's it. But this one, it's impressive how much there yeah. is on it. It's, it's impressive how much... We're not trying to sell this thing, no, by the way. Not. We're really not. It's, it's uh, just... It, it is ridiculous how many games are on it. And there's... You could just fit them all... I mean, it's a Windows thing yeah. in there. So yeah, you, yeah. you could just fit all these these little ROM emulators on there because they're so small. I wish... Um, can you... Do you think you could just, like, have... Reply to emails through that thing? Well, Sorry, this has taken has me so long. You could. <laughs> to reply to you. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been a tr- it's been an, Sorry. I, an issue. I had to, to defeat Streets of Rage <laughs> in order to unlock the email yeah. feature. Uh, just like I th- using the trackball to try and like spell out yeah. each uh, <laughs> each word. <laughs> Street Fighter Two. I like. Uh, I think the first Street Fighter mm. I ever played was EX Two Plus. Gosh, which was a PS One. Yeah. Release. Did you ever play Battle Arena to Shinden? Oh my, no fucking way. Like, be- I've met many people. Okay. You've never met a, a to Shinden? I've never <laughs> met anyone that has played to Shinden. I got that. When the PS1 came out at university, we played Battle Arena to Shinden 1. I remember there was an old man who rode on a big ball. That was one of his moves. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't recall. It was like a circle, wasn't it? You were fighting on a circle. Yes. Uh, I think so. I. I. I most. I'm most fond of the fourth game, and I thought that was absolutely incredible. But uh, I'm sorry, I haven't played the first. I don't think. But yes. So they. He rode around on a ball. Didn't yeah. He? It was something like that. I hope there are more people actually going to be playing soon because we've there seems to be a lack a lacking of competition going on right now is that is that my boy harry that's harry yeah harry's here harry is gonna have to really bend down to see into this cabinet so it's, it's trouble with being a tall man you know this is this this looks like street fighter 2 yes yes let's go. well done good choice good choice yes yes <laughs> You can choose your country. Is it America or Japan? Japan. Japan. I oh. think this is Street Fighter 1. I was going to say, this This doesn't look... I've never seen this. This is Street Fighter 1. As you can see, they had to make a 2 because this is, this is <laughs> look garbage. At it. Look, at, look at it. Here comes a new challenger. Good luck. Yeah. We need the we need the second one, Pierre. We cannot be having this shit. We need to run and shout at them and say, "Stop it! You're killing me." What are you doing? This is a hot pile of garbage. What the fuck is even happening? Ken and Ryu just Ryu with red hair. Yeah, I was, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a brunette, is he not? Ken's got his classic uh, yellow mop. He looks like uh, it's like a surfer, basically. That's, I think I think that's what when they when these Japanese game makers make games, it's like they're American, you know, like a surfer. Yeah, like that's pretty much it. 
Which is interesting. I don't think... Ev- well, it's quite a lot of it is landlocked, isn't it? What, Japan? No, the US. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to, to have a lot of Americans classified as surfers is a bit... Um, you know, unless you live on the coast. Yeah, there's a lot of... I mean, the coast is the most populated part of the US, really. Yeah, I so, Yeah. Are you serious? Wow. Who wants to play Street Fighter 1? Street Fighter 2, we get the good music, the good characters. This is... Yeah, this is... This is. I'm not commentating on this. This is disappointing. This is giving me radiation signal. Hmm. Time up. Time up. They did nothing. They're both, they're both very equal in ability. They look like they are having fun. I don't care, uh, Joust 89. <laughs> Also, poor Ken, did you see his face? He's gutted. Absolutely. Big old swollen face. All right, I think Nina's Nina's having another go. I mean, it doesn't even have the iconic sounds, music. Look at... Oh God, they're so weird looking. They don't even look <laughs> like real people. Well, I know they're not, but... <laughs> They're not, are they real men in this? Yeah, that's the real men. Are Who's the real Ken? <laughs> I think they should be playing Golden Tea. tea. Golden Gold- Tea. Golden Tea is great. So golden Tea. Golden Tea. There's about five versions of it on this machine as well, this cabinet. Yeah, and we've got the trackball, so yep, golf it up. It's really good. I, d- I don't know why they haven't even attempted to play Golden Tea yet, because that is a good tournament game as well. Yeah, that would be good. God, you get so little time. The first round ended in a tie. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is terrible. This is terrible. Boo! Oh, uh, can, can we cut away to a just a nice video of something interesting? <laughs> there they we are go. Fun. They they look like they're having a good they, time. They do. Yeah. That's Nina's concentrating face. It's, uh, people's concentrating faces are very funny. Do you, like, do you know what yours is? I don't think I've ever concentrated on anything. Well, if you're concentrating, you, you're not really thinking about what you look like. Mm. So other people need to basically capture you in that, in that concentrating moment. And uh, yeah, my concentrating face is just looking. Yeah, I'm kind of like a, I think. Frowning. Frowning, yeah. probably. Yeah, that's, that's the one. That's my concentration face. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure why they're still attempting to to play this. So who's winning? Is, I assume Harry's winning. He's got a little red. He, he's cut, he's he's Ryu, so um, he's yeah. got a red egg. He has the, he has a, a red egg. <laughs> he's got a red egg. <laughs> Congrats. Well done. Oh, there he is again. I wish you good luck. <laughs> Very nice, isn't it? <laughs> What a what a humble loser, poor Ken. Oh, and that's it. Retsu's thinking hard before he, he makes a move here. Is is that who that is? That's Retsu. I've never seen this man before in my life. I'm a big Dalsim fan. Yoga flame, yoga fire. I like I like Dalsim. I'm trying to think of other Street Fighter characters. There's X Men versus Street Fighters on here. Oh. Have you played that? Yeah. That was the beginning for me of... Um, people are saying it's Ryu. I, I don't care. All right? I don't care. I know, <laughs> if it annoys you, I, I don't care even more. It's it's Ryu. That's what we all used to call him when we were kids. That's what I grew up calling him, Ryu. I don't care if it's Ryu. Who cares? Ryu isn't offended. He's not real. <laughs> he doesn't even know. But so Street Fighter versus... X Men. Yeah, and the uh, yeah, there's Marvel versus Capcom, and all, yeah, there's mm. all kinds of shit. Yeah. So I think chat will know this. They'll they they there was like the beginning of the whole super move meter thing, where you'd build up combos and then mm. you could do moves. We like called in a star destroyer or whatever, oh, and right. you know you did all kinds of cool stuff like that. Oh, is this Golden T Pierre? Oh, oh. Let's. Go! Do you hear this fucking music as well? This is what I'm. This is what I'm talking about. Stroke play. <laughs> I'm familiar with that. <laughs> I just. Uh, was, I heard a wow. A big wow. A big wow. <laughs> front um, nine or back nine? Ooh. Which? <laughs> Let's do a bit of stroke play on the front nine. <laughs> 
filthy. Golf is God, filthy. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I've got holes yeah, and balls. Holes and balls and the shaft of your club. <laughs> You've got a driver. Oh, that's not that. That's that's not that filthy, to be fair. <laughs> a driver. Mm, uh, smart. Oh, very filthy. Call for two to hit. Oh and yes. The wood. The wood. Uh, oh, nice. Oh. Nice. A little uh, bit of a dog leg to the right. Yeah, this interesting thing about this trackball is that it seems to register the angle at which you... The, re the angle of release. The, the ball angle. Yeah, it, it knows which way your balls are going. Yes. The trick is to use both thumbs on the trackball, says uh, says chat. Oh, this oh, is... Oh, that's, uh, that's a bit of a yikes. Is that in the rough or is that still on the fairway? I think it's just on the fairway. I'm so pleased that they're playing this. But like I say, there's like about five or six different versions of this game yeah. in this one cabinet. Yeah. I think the... If you like golden tea, Ozzy, mm. you'll be spoiled for choice is what you're saying. Oh, God, you just... This, uh, I think they, they differ in maps. The gameplay is, is the same, but the maps change. I think they're called courses. All right. <laughs> <laughs> maps. I say, do you want to go? Do you want to go to the, the the golf map? The local golf map. Yeah. Do you want to fancy a game of golf on the on the golf map? Golf map. Oh, that was jolly poor. Golf for one. To hit. Golf for one. Golf for one. Golf for one. Okay, this is Harry in the blue. Do you reckon they have that, like golden tea in golf clubs? Like you go into a golf club and they, they've got in the bar. Busman's holiday. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, yeah, God, I love golf. You're right. I can play this as well. Yeah, maybe. I suppose if you get rained off, that's the alternative. Go and play some golden tea. This is, you would always see this in pubs. Would you? Yeah, golden oh, tea. I've, this is, you know, honestly, they, they've got one of these in um, the arcade bar I was mentioning. Uh, that's how I first played it. Mm. I was like, "This is fantastic!" Yeah, it's a really fun oh, game. I think as well, you know what? It represents a bit of a bit of value for money because mm. if you play two players, it's not like you just fight two rounds <coughs> and that's it. Mm. Yeah, you can take your time. You know, it's it's nice and uh, it's a good relaxing arcade. I would say so as well. It's very sedate, isn't it? I mean, bear in mind they're playing nine holes. Holy shit! They're so going to be here for a. You're going to be there for a while for your. It's that's VFM. Good. VFM. Is it oh, does it does someone shout? Get in the hole! Oh dear! Oh Nina! Oh, wow! Nina has placed her golfer. Oh! 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 Not bad actually. Ah uh, well, I think she hit a tree. I love the music. This is. Would we be able to get it? Oh, she's just not. She's not tracking that ball. Would you mind just turning it up just a, 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 a just a hair, please? Oh, that's better. The sound of the ball thunking on the grass it's, is very good. It's very nice. One. Here we go. That's good. Thank you. That's a bit loud, Pierre. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the Golf sound... For two. Golf for two. The sound effects are, are satisfying. I don't know what the symbols are. Are they to select your... That's, uh, that's when they choose the club. What's with the trombone? <laughs> the sound... They got a, a brass band following them around. Golf for one. Golf for two. <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 very poor. Whiff. Oh, the little guy. Goes. Oh, he's he's even he's upset. Oh, 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. Get in the hole. I hate it when they shout that. Get, get in the hole. Get in the hole. I mean, get. The ball's not listening, mate. Come on, Nina, you got this. Oh. oh, wow. You've made the longest putt ever. <laughs> Holy shit. It's because no one's played it. <laughs> oh, God. The sounds in this game is so... They're so good. What, <laughs> <laughs> what name is, is Nina going to pick? Oh. All right, oh. there with that. Yeah. Okay. N... Also, the part of this game is figuring out how to um, how to select which letter you want. Well, it's intense. Oh, okay, we got n nin. Nine inch nails. Good, good job. <gasps> oh, is that the replay? You got the longest putt ever. <laughs> <laughs> like we got to see it again. That was the oh, that was the replay. Okay. Good job, Harry. 
You've, You've made, made the, the leaderboard. leaderboard. It's because because this is the, the I guess the high score table. I don't know if it saves. Oh, he's going for ass. Nice. Nice. Classic. Congrats. So good job. Golfer Nin is actually only plus four. She's slightly ahead. So Nina is winning. Golfer two. Golfer two. Golfer two. Here we go. Well. Oh, they, is that it? They've th th leaving on a high. I is wanted that it? to. Nina, I, Nina wants to. She's coming in. I mean, one hole. This is the most. I was the, the most exhilarated by that. So I've, I, you were very that longest, excited for longest that putt ever. Yeah, it was really, really good. <gasps> Have we got any, any, anybody else wanting to play anything? Stay away from my head, you lot. More golf. Yeah, we want more golf. There are eight more holes. Wind jammers, goodness. Time for wind. What's wind jammers? It's a game. What What kind of game is it? I can't it? remember. We've got Brie. Watch your time. We've got Brie in the building. Wind jammers is great. I wish I knew what this was. I want to see... So hey! Oh. oh my goodness! We we are kind of, so I was so excited about the longest putt ever. Oh yeah! Oh, God. What does that mean? Well, you you well, got you it. Got the longest putt ever. What it, does that mean? You know what a putt is? No. So that's when you're on the green. <laughs> yeah. Which is like the final level you of the sure? golf hole. Yeah. Okay. So you the, you got on the green and you. And it went in. Yeah. So the distance from the hole to where you played the shot is the length of the putt. Right. And your putt was because no one's played Golden Tee on this machine. Sure. Was sure. the longest putt ever. I see. Is that feet. generally a good thing? Of course. It's the fantastic. longest putt is like you nailed it. Like putting, yeah. most people fall down in their short game. Any golfers out there will know what I mean. Oh, shit. You get it on the green, but then the putting is very difficult. Yeah. You made it look easy. You didn't yeah. hit the sand. Yes. Like and you won that challenge. You finished on plus four. He was on plus five. True. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done. Pro golfer, new yeah. hobby. All right. Is that the first time you've you've golfed? Yes. It, IRL and in game. I wow. Think. <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic. Champion of Golden Tea. We enjoyed yes. the Golden Tea more than any of the other yeah. games. Yeah, and I feel like you need to return because there are eight more holes, Nina. Yeah. Uh, oh my God, that's yeah. a lot of holes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. We're just, I mean, it's very... Technically, there's 18. If you wanted to, we could be here all bloody day doing oh my Golden God. Tea. But if anybody else I... fancies Golden Tea, we are down to commentate more Golden uh, Tea. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, I think Duncan said that he should be in at some point. It's one of his favorite. Oh, oh god! Well, I'm screwed there. But we want to see a rematch. Golden <laughs> a rematch? champion versus. Well, a, a, are we not going to defend your title? So are we not counting the street fight thing that happened beforehand? I'm not counting. Oh no, we. I'm fine with that because I lost to that. Yeah, yeah, we sure. were very, we were bitterly disappointed that that was even chosen. Yeah. Street fighter one. Who who remembers? Well, how that do game you? Fondly? It was just button mashing. Yeah, it was, I, it was bullshit. Shocking. It was just like well, it, the, the, the guys were unrecognizable as well. Yeah, I've, where where's the old character selection? Exactly. I liked it when. Ken was bleeding. Yes, and he said, yeah. oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, very good. Good performance. Yeah, well done, thank, Nina. Thank you. Love, love the putting. Love it's, love whacking things. There you go. There you go. You whacked him. <laughs> sure thing. I right. like the sad trombone so much. The sad uh, trombone and the cymbal, for some reason. Yeah, there's a lot of... What are we looking at? They're just deciding on what game, I think. Yeah. No I see. Who's no next? Well, it looks like you're going to have to play some more golf, Nina. Yeah. To, oh, to my God. To really? entertain us. That game has like 9,000 games. Why golf? Well, I know. Half of them are like. golf. You can pick what you like. I know, but, well, I don't know what we have, do we? No, that's true. There might be a list online you could find. Go through it and figure out, oh, that mm. looks good. So. Bubble Bobble, sure. if it's on there, is a That belt. would be amazing. Yeah. 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 What about some Mahjong? I'd be down for that. You know mahjong. what? I'd love to see That'd be too Mahjong. Long. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> thrilling. <That would. laughs> what do you mean? You didn't do that in the 90s growing up? Just yeah. a bit of... Do you think there is a Mahjong cabinet? Oh, undoubtedly. Yes, definitely. Undoubtedly. I feel like I saw it. Interesting. What, what are they doing to death? Oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, hang right, on. Uh, Before I leave... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't do my... Huh? What's Pierre doing? He's putting it so your camera is wider. So I think you oh. can reach. What do you I just want to like give them a little tickle. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, there we oh, go. Uh, 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 oh, head scratch. I wonder if he can feel it. Okay, if I do that, like psychically, he'll be able to. Try and cup his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you able to see the stream? 
from where you are? Just about, yeah, yeah. Just here. Oh, oh, oh fuck. So Lewis must know, hopefully. Oh my God. Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Girl? <laughs> it's it's kind of, it's it's weird when you're in here. You don't really know where your arms are going. This is, why don't content creators do this more often? This is the best thing. <laughs> we just... We'll take it under advisement. We'll, uh, we'll yeah, bear this in we'll, mind for we'll, the future. If yeah. things get slow, we'll start... Uh, to squeeze Lewis's nose. This is the content everybody wants. Come on, <laughs> let's be real. I w no, it isn't. What I want is eight more holes, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> I want right. eight more holes. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to get Harry. Very impressive putts. Yes. Uh, Queen, Queen of golf. Queen of golf. Sure. All right, I'll take it. Very good. Thank you. Um, oh, my parking session. Oh. What, the your lights. parking session has expired. Nearly. Hello. Why have we put the lights on, Pierre? Oh, Nina hit them on the way out. Nina oh. wanted it to be like my head hurts. Oh, Thank no. you. Um, great, great. Loved golden tea. Less what impressed. A game, mate. What a game. Oh, absolutely thrilling. It's one of the games I've played in arcade machine. Really, we one were of disappointed them. you guys only did one hole, but it did take some time. Honestly, it was so much fun, Pyrrhon. I wouldn't want to hog it. You know, really share the just, love. Just riveting stuff. It's so, did you see we were using the trackball? It's yeah, quite yeah, cool. It's, yeah. quite, it's quite a nifty little... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Why didn't you play Street Fighter 2? Because I fucking hate I hate fighting games so much. Are you not, I'm just not pacifist. a fighting game. I'm, I'm a pacifist. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't believe in violence, I see. Okay. I believe in golf, though. The golf was great, actually. I do. I take it back. It's fucking impossible. You need to go give it a go. It's I've, so I'll have hard. A go. Yeah, I've we'll have a go. so fucking hard. I've played it. I've played it a few times. Yeah. That's my. That's my game. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy She's it. Who's been? Who's been the best so far? Who's been the ultimate arcade machine champion? I think Martin on the puzzle bobble mm -hmm. was very impressive. That was very impressive. Okay. Okay. Played that game. Also, yeah. Dav champion sixty under sixteen year olds. Tetris. Yeah, Dav Tetris was also very. Dav good. beat a sixteen year old. No, he was <laughs> the under sixteen Tetris that? champion of Canton. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oldest, yeah, that is a claim to Welsh fame. Yeah, this yeah. Was last week, but he is. <laughs> 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 Poor Soph didn't stand a chance against uh, against Nav. But she'd never played Tetris before, Rose. Never, yeah, never. She'd never played Tetris before. Dude, she's young. She's. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, yeah, right. so lying. Week, okay. so lying. oh, that's right. She was lying, and I even what, said that she was lying. That's my bad. I, the trouble is, actually, there's so many games in the arcade machine. It's actually quite overwhelming it when you're trying to pick one. Yeah. We, Daff was like, oh, we'll pick a golf game. I was expecting there'd be two. He was just scrolling. He I was know. just scrolling. And <laughs> I was like, there's fucking golf, you know, golf in Hawaii, so golf they, in Canada. Like, yeah, they've, I think that it's just the courses mm. that change. I call them maps. and call them no. maps. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? But yeah, there's... That's disappointing, OC. I know. Well, I know I talk I talk a big... Talk a big game, but I don't actually. Have you know. ever played golf in real life, OC? I've played like silly golf, like putting golf. Have you played golf, period? Yeah, you I, I have a set of clubs. Oh, really? Yeah, you uh, own it, clubs. It's, yeah, it's incredibly hard. During lockdown, when we were all barred from going outside, uh -huh. I took up golf at my local club because um, it's a really nice little club. Yeah, yeah. And it, oh, are we are we golfing? It's just lovely to have it in the background. Oh, someone's stepping up. Yes! Uh, yes! Yeah, yes. There. Come I, on, Martin. Can I sit and watch from it? He's done very well there. It's so hard to get a long drive. It is. It is. Really and also, difficult. Because the trackball, I was I was saying that if you slightly, you know, you, it sort of records your mm. angle, so you mm -hmm. can actually completely whiff it. Yeah, initially, I was very confused at how you... Oh, he's fucking... Straight in the bunker. There. It's not that bad, though. Actually, I've, I went in the bunker twice, and I thought it, was, it wasn't the worst. I mean, in real life, it's... Is it hell? Uh, miserable. Yeah, so were you bought clubs or did you no, buy? No, I bought them, yeah. You bought them. I, I, I signed up. There was a, There's a thing called Get Into Golf. It's like a national sort of program to encourage yeah. more people to play golf. Because most people that play, go, play golf are really old. Oh, rich. And most of the people at my <laughs> golf club. It's kind of oh, oh. <laughs> it's like a, old, rich. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a it's, you know, you can't be, you don't see a lot of. Well, it's the clubs that make it quite exclusive, right? Right. Not the, not the clubs themselves, the clubs right, right. in the buildings. The oh, yeah. Yeah. right. So th this is like, um, you do the get into golf thing, and then you can apply for an, like, a membership, but it's like a learner membership. Yeah. And you can't come every day. You can only come oh, at certain okay. hours, because the full members that pay more yeah, yeah. can come during the day, and mm -hmm. you have to come at like after three or something like that. <laughs> so the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> 2 a.m. Good allowed. luck, mate. Oh, it's raining. raining. You're allowed. You've got a fluorescent ball. Um, <laughs> So it's kind of like that, uh, and it, it's just, it's very nice when you're out there, if you're playing with the right group of people. Did you, yeah, did you go with a group of friends? No, I've okay. never played with any friends. I really wish, oh, he's in the drink. He's oh, 
He's choked it. He's got to just chip it. What happens if your ball goes in the water? You, you lose it. Well, can Fight you... an alligator, right? That's what they usually do in Florida. Get down there <laughs> and whack an alligator for it. You, so it's a one-stroke penalty, and then you have to hit again. Oh, hello. Naughty. Naughty mo- Look at that concentration face on him as well. Nice. Seven strokes. That's plus five. Oof. Not too shabby. That is a, that is a, a face of determination right yeah, there. Yeah. He's got that Vegas face you got when you're playing the slots. He's just like <laughs> he's just in the zone. You know, the phone could be buzzing, the kids oh. could be screaming, but he doesn't care. Oh, he threw his club down. It's fucking hard though. Look at his hand. It's not it's not easy. You actually need to get some speed. Mm. So somebody in chat actually said that the way to do it is use both yeah. thumbs. You get your thumbs other side and then you flip it. So that way there's no direction left and right. To get it to go straight, you both both thumbs and then you go with both thumbs. So try that. Aaron. That's try some fucking kind of Googler shit. It's a bit of tech. Yeah. That's is he sorry, what did he just write in there? Did he write cut how did you see how quickly he wrote cum? <laughs> Very impressive. Did, you, did <laughs> you see that? Did you? We were the fucking arcade master. We fucking just wrote home so quickly. How did he do that? He, he, so he had it in the first time he put it in. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then the second time it came in, he I just thought he went, just. Yes. I thought that. I thought That's he was just de- nifty. No, with no, it. it's just a He's default. Like, no. It's a default name is come. Okay. Yeah, default. Sorry. Golden tea. Default I was stunned. Cum. Oh, yeah. write me stunned. That was crazy. No, no sadly, Harry, he, he already put it in there. Okay. Well, I'm still impressed. No, <laughs> it's a great that. name choice. Oh, Ped's here. And then, so, hang on. Is Sophie going to have a go at, at Golden Tea? Sophie versus Sparkles. This is going to be... Okay. Who are you backing? Uh, I think Sophie could have a little bit of beginner's luck here. I think uh, yeah. Sparkles maybe has played I, some Golden Tea. But... I think it comes down to hand size on the track bull, right? It's quite a big bull. You need quite big hands to be able to get that <laughs> that flick. Well, try right. the two thumbs. Yeah. The two thumbs strat. I mean, I feel like we. I don't want to ruin the meta. You know, I don't want to break break the game. Let them know. There's Bree. Got our insider information, Harry. I feel like you need to abuse this. <laughs> Shall I challenge Lewis to a game and then just destroy him yeah. with the two <laughs> thumbs strat? <laughs> I just make him so sad. <laughs> What are you I'll doing? Ruin it for everyone. <laughs> Do it, Harry. Do All it. right. Well, have a good one, boys. I'll see you in Thank a bit. Thank you. Thank um, you. Good job. Chat. Bye. Good job. You're on the leaderboard as well, so congrats. Yay. 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 Well, no, you you put your name in, didn't you? Yay. You put ass in. Ass is in the cabinet. Oh. Oh, oh look at this. Is this Pac-Man or Ms. Pac-Man? So you can tell that she's a girl because she's got a bow in her head. Uh, I, I forgot to put mine on, so who knows what I am. Oh, here we go. I think they are actually playing Ms. Pac-Man. There was a, a Pac-Man cartoon in the 80s. I think I recall, it was, well, not from right. first-hand experience, but I, you know. It was actually pretty good. Really? I like did it. You wanna, did you want to fuck Ms. Pac-Man? I was a child. <laughs> Would you? So, yes, of course. No, I, <laughs> Ms. Pac-Man, I mean... This sound is so iconic. It is, isn't it? Who, who, who came up with? Uh... So the guy that invented this game was eating pizza. There was a slice taken out of it, and he was like, "That kind of looks like a mouth." And then he was like, "I'm going to make a game, and that's going to be the character." No, hundred percent. Can we uh, get Pac-Man just a tiny bit lower, what please? What are you doing? Please. Thank you. Can't hit. Okay. You've every- got to get. You've got to eat the. Eat the. You got to bait them in. That's better. Bait them in. <clears throat> Thank you. Then you eat the the, the, the power up, and then you eat the ghosts, and then you got to get the fruit in the middle. This is how you get the high school. Yeah. What's your favorite fruit in the middle? Cherry. Oh, of course, of course. No, I don't know. <laughs> you'd be you'd be a fool if it wasn't cherry. I'm sorry, but cherry is the only choice. So this this game, like a lot of these old arcade games. You can cheat the AI to do certain things. Oh, really? Yeah, there's like little tricks. The same in Donkey Kong. Oh, no! <laughs> you had him lined up for the triple kill! Oh. Rookie error, what is going on? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh. What are they doing? This is just absolutely dreadful. I feel like uh, this another another sort of finicky thing though is the joystick on this cabinet. I feel like it's a it's a talent to oh, wield. Really? I feel like it's a well any any cabinet. I feel like you've got to you've got to oh! un- <laughs> you've got to understand how to how to use it properly. Yeah. You know. There was that cherry. 
You there was that. that fucking cherry. Is there other options? Yeah, for... uh, it's like cycles around, and they're oh, worth okay. more points as you go through. The fruits get more elaborate. I see. <laughs> like dragon fruit, something very unknown to a durian or something. A durian. <laughs> Come yeah, on, no. you can eat him. Come on, eat the boys. Oh, oh! you got got by. Uh, is that Oscar? I can't remember. I know Pinky, obviously. I can't remember the names of the ghosts. Anyone in chat, do you know the names of the four ghosts? Oh, there's Blinky, Pinky, Inky, Pokey. And Clyde. Oh, Clyde. Oh, he's. Po what does Pokey mean? Is that a mood? His character is Pokey. I see. Oh. I don't know what that means. I thought I thought uh, I thought his name was Oscar for some reason. He uh, kind of looks like an Oscar to me. He does. We're gonna take a little break. I think. Y yes. We're going uh, to. We'll be back in like five to ten minutes. Yes. Let's go and berate everyone for yeah. not choosing. Let's go play some fucking golden tea. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, we'll see you guys yes. in a see bit. See you soon. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Don't go away. Bye. Hello. <sighs> We're back. We're back again. What's happening? Huh? What? What is happening? Okay. We've got Duncan. Duncan has arrived within the building. Excellent. Uh, you know what he said to me? I can't wait to play some golden tea. Fuck 2K, that. that's the best one. That was what he said. Really? So he, okay. He is golden teeing it up. That's good to hear. I hear the uh, I hear the music. Here we go. Oh, we're kicking off. And now, is Duncan playing against Bree? I think so. Okay. Bree has been taught the double thumb technique. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. He was like, you did that with two thumbs? I was like, yes. And he's, he had a little practice round. Mm. <clears throat> so now we'll see what they're up to. Okay, Bree is yellow shirt. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh. He he hooks it. He tends to hook to the right. Common problem for golfers. Mm. Uh, it means his grip isn't strong enough. Is one thing that that can mean apparently. He's got a limp grip. It happens to the best of us. Wow. Okay. Well, Duncan's with the one-handed flourish. Ooh. This man is a golden tier. Look at this. Wow. That is that is impressive. <gasps> oh, You've made the greatest shots club. <laughs> Hell yes. Duncan. All right. What is he going to do? I, I'm disappointed it's not come. Mm. Matt? Matt? Mac, ma'am, ma'am, man, man, man. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Good, good stuff. Look at this. This is the greatest shots club. Look at that. That is a beauty. Oh, that is an absolute it, peach of a shot. Right? It is really good. I, I forgot that it was a replay. So, was there a flag in this hole? Do they take the flag out? When you're putting, they take the pin out. They call okay. it the pin. Oh. You take that out. Because it can, it, like, otherwise your ball can hit it and kind of bounce out. I see. So okay. you don't take it out on the approach, like when you're still on the. You've made the leaderboard. Well, I mean, what's, what's Bree made the leaderboard for? Because he did it in three shots. Wow. And remember, no one's ever played Golden T2K on this machine. So as far as it's concerned, Everyone's... that was one of the best golf shots this machine's ever seen. <laughs> it hasn't spent decades in a pub. <clears throat> Is that it? Did he? Look at that. They both oh. got E, which means they made par. Is that what it means? Yeah, they're even. See? So oh, they're, okay. Yeah, e. So that was a par three hole, and they did it in three. Good Here job. Here comes Duncan. Ooh. Clean. Very... This is some high-level golden team. This is this is exhilarating stuff. Also, can we just uh, can we just uh, direct our attention to how Golfer smart Duncan looks for yes, this? Yes, he does. He's really dressed up. Yeah. For golden tea today. Yeah, he's come in. <laughs> he's, he came to play and he dressed the, in a way that says, I'm... I demand victory. That's not Golf bad. Golf for one. Golf for one. They've got to get it over onto another island. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you're playing this in real life. There wouldn't be a little island. Oh. Because you have to get a boat to go out there. Like they, There are swim. holes where there's a water hazard. You just have to walk around it. But they don't have like an island. Because how the bloody hell are you meant to get it? Or if they do, there'll be a bridge. So there'll, there'll be some, some way to get there. Because golfers, they sit in a little cart. You know, they're yes. jolly lazy. Look at this. Do we have a contender for Greatest Shots Golf Club? Look at these guys. This is some golden tea. If you came here for golden tea, you found the channel. 
<laughs> We're exclusively now only streaming Golden Tea. I think you'd do pretty well. Do you, do you reckon? Golf of one. Oh, oh. oh, oh my God. Look at and, and he knows. He knows. He's impressed. That yeah. wasn't a leaderboard putt, though. Yeah. How is that not on the... That, that deserves leaderboard. Oh. oh. That could be the deciding shot for this hole. That's it. He's even... Bree was one under par. So there you go. Oh, my goodness. Look at Ned. Classic. That's some that's some good golf. This is some good golf. I mean, honestly, evens and un, one under. But he got 8,901 points for the greatest shot. Here we go. 200 yards. It's 200 yards is just past the pin. Mm. So you want to be a little careful here. You don't want to overshoot and roll down the back of that green because there's that bunker at the back there, Rose. Let's see where this goes. It's using a, th oh. a three iron. Oh, oh, under hit. I feel like that was a wrong club choice. So would you have gone for a, a, like a two and maybe just hit it as hard as you could? What is the difference? So that it's all about the angle of the club face. I see. Okay. That's it. So when you hit the ball, depending on the club face you've got, if you're hitting a drive, you have a flatter... Hmm. So more of the energy goes into driving the ball in a straight line. I see. And okay. it does that thing where it kind of rises up like that and then comes down. If you have a club with a more angle, your power is lifting the club, uh, the ball into the air. So it spends more of its energy going up and less going long. So it's right. all about the, the angle of the club face is what dictates how far the ball's going to go. There you go. Oh, whiffed. That was this is This is golden. Tragic. Player... Golfer one is falling apart. <laughs> or is that golfer two? This is think, golfer two is falling apart. Golfer two is falling, falling short. Can't get out of this. Okay, okay. Oh. 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 Golfer one. Dav wants a picture of that. Golfer one. <laughs> Dav, Dav is so into this as well. Are we able to see Dav? Okay, no. He's not going to show us. Okay, we're, we're back in with Duncan's concentration. Oh. That's one under. That could draw things level. Because I think this is this might be... So this is going to be one over. So he's going to be one over. So now he's evens. And I think Duncan is... Duncan is right, yeah, one. look at so, that. <clears throat> Ooh, this is... Uh, this is close. This is very close. This is a good... A good golf. A good golf. Good golf. Wait, is that it? That's after three holes. Are we playing the full nine? I'd love that. Oh, hell yes! Uh, yes. Yes. This is why I, I knew Duncan wouldn't let us down. Yeah, he's going to come in. He was like, if there's golden tea, we're doing it properly. I like how this was meant to be a... Because well, there was like a list of games that... W so it was meant to be Tekken, Time Crisis... And something else. And Tetris. Yeah. All the teas. But now the lads are like, golden tea? Hello. This is the real... This oh, is he's turning. Oh, okay. He, he, is he going to go for the big bomb here? Oh, uh, oh, oh! I think he's okay. I, I think he's okay. It's didn't short. go very far though. Yeah, but you don't oh, want it to go too far because then there's yeah. water. You see that if you look at the hole, oh, there's the blue. water in front of it. Is that the, the blue? blue? Is water? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Green is land. Green is good. Blue is bad. This might be in the drink. No, I think he's okay. I think we're, he's all right. Bree abandoned the double thumb strat. Yeah. See, that's why. Yeah. You've got to stick. You've got to, you stick, got to stick to... Pick a strat and stick to it. Turning left. Golfer two. Turning right. Golfer two. Turning left. Blue equals water. Blue is water. This is 300 yards. He's clobbered this. He hit a tree! Mm. Disaster! He has struck a tree! <laughs> Symbols of... Where's the trombone? <clears throat> I got. I heard a trombone. This is a. This is a very uh, interesting course, by the looks of it. There's a lot of water. He's going to absolutely muller this. He feel... mustn't hook it. It has to be straight. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is. Is that, that... in the bushes at the back? Oh, oh. He's, he's hit it too far. He's hit it too far. <laughs> far. <laughs> the disappointment on Bree's face, as well as the golfer he is using. I'm not kidding. So Duncan is playing it safe. He's turning left. He's going to... No, he's gone too far to the left. I think, I think, yeah, a little bit more right, Duncan. Okay, no, he's going for it. Oh, wow. This is a bold, bold attempt. He's trying to get onto the other fairway over there. Has he done it? He has. He has. Wow, That's okay. an excellent shot. 
safety, but I like it. Bree went for the power move of just hitting it straight through the jungle. Oh, that's hooked. Yeah. That's hooked badly. That's that's. Oh, that's rolled off the back. Is it in the is it in the bunker? We'll find out on his shot. Here's Bree trying to recover after that water hazard. This is stroke five. This is a disaster. Six mile an hour of wind. It's going to carry a little bit to the left, but not too much. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a lovely approach. That's lovely. That's a lovely approach. Oh, yeah. Approach. I feel like he probably could have gone a bit more right. I think it's sort of compensating for the, the I hook. So. Yeah, I think so. Well, that's not... You should never do that. Oh, really? Yeah, they tell you, like, if you have a slice or a hook to your game, you shouldn't play into Re it. Recorrect. You should just play normally and try and correct that with, in your swing. Oh, what my, is he? Oh. oh, using the wrong club. Look, he bought a, a pro tip. Stop fucking up. That's the pro tip right there. <laughs> This is a nice shot. Very nice, but... This, this hole has nice been a double enough. disaster. I it don't know has. how many strokes are on. Golfer won. He's on seven uh... strokes. Oh, right, okay. Finally. Good job. Two over. I wouldn't be celebrating, though. Golfer two needs to putt this, and then he's, he's, he's one score less, so I think that would even it up if Bree can putt this. Oh! oh! Disaster. Oh! Disaster. Duncan stays one shot ahead of... Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> Oh, this is all going wrong. Ned, what is going Ned, on? This is one of the worst, this is one of the worst chokes in golf history. Terrible, terrible. Oh dear. Are they still? Oh, now, now there's two shots in here. I thought it was called Sad Haven, not Sea Haven. That's what I'm feeling right now. I live in Sad Haven. Golf for one has honors. Golf for one has honors. What does that mean? It means it's his shot because he's leading. I see, okay. All right, so where's, right. where's the hole here? This looks... So it looks like it's a drive up to a, <clears throat> tea, a, a, a bit of fairway and then the, 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 the hole is across that water hazard. Right, okay. Um... So you want to get it up here with it give you a nice clean shot across the bay. Oh, he's hit a fucking tree again. <laughs> Bree! Bree, Bree, you know Bree to... does rhyme with tree, so I think he's attracted to the trees naturally. It's part of his game. Let's see. If he hits this, it's just going straight in the drink. That's too far, Bree. Oh. Oh, he's done. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> he bent his club. His club. <laughs> game over. Come on. Come on, Duncan. Nice. Oh, he chipped a bit of the... Uh... That's fine. That happens, especially with any kind of a, a, a wedge or like a, a, any kind of chipping shot. It's very common to take a chunk of grass off. And what you do is you pick it up and you just put it back. Oh, really? Okay. That's what you're meant to do. You're meant ah. to replace the divots. Ah. So they do have like people that specifically caretake courses. Absolutely. The amount... Of, it's like a full-time job being a groundskeeper for a golf course. A big golf course will have multiple people. Mm. It's so much work. And getting it through the winter, keeping the grass nice right, over the yeah, winter, it, yeah. it, it, if there's a big flood or loads of rain, mm. it's, a, it's, yeah, it's rough. The worst is when it rains a lot, the holes sometimes fill up with water and you have to get your ball back. It's like this disgusting... Sludge. Or, or, ugh. Uh, did you hear about that person that was going around shitting in golf holes? Oh, that's an excellent shot. That's one under par. That's a nice shot. This is stroke six. This a is double, but this is a disaster. You can three. you can tell though, Duncan has played this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as good as EOD, unfortunately. Look at this. Golfer one is exactly even. Golf golfer two. That's Bree. Is five over. He needs a miracle. Need to get a hole in one brie, yeah. I think, to pull this back. He needs Duncan to really start effing up. Sorry, I was so concentrated on the golf. You'd said something and I missed it. What is Shitting in golf holes. <laughs> I don't think it's it's not necessary to speak on this subject any further. That's disgusting. Well, they, they think they caught him. <laughs> oh, God, I bet. <laughs> All right. Uh... I can't really tell if this is going well for either of them, but... Okay, Bree... I mean, this is, they're just working their way up the fairway, you know. I think Bree's starting to play a little bit safer, which I think is very wise. Yeah, I think he I think he wanted to try and get some kind of a lead up yeah. by playing those dangerous shots and gambling, but he just ended up in the drink too often. Yeah. Gosh, this is a big... This is a big hole. This is a big hole. Gosh, this is a big hole. Massive hole. Yeah. 
It's going to take a while. To, I think. Oh, I see the flag. Yeah. It's extremely pixelated. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. Honestly, this is this is a pretty nice golf game. The the old golf games, as anyone any older gamers out there will remember. Every time the shot landed, it had to re-render the entire screen, and it took a while. Oh, wow. So you'd hit the shot, and then it would be like, right, now we've got to load the bit that shows where your, your ball is. And if you rotated, it would have to re-render the entire thing. Like, oh, it was God. so slow. That's not bad. That isn't too bad, but it's, it's, not, it's not ideal, I'd say. Not, yeah. not, 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 the, not the best. Okay, so here's Duncan putting... He's going to sink this. Do you reckon? Yeah, this will be, be one under par. Come on, Duncan. You got this. Okay, that was a, that was shit. I didn't I didn't feel like he could do it. It's quite a long putt. Mm. Bree's talking tactics. Bree needs this. This will be this will give him one. Oh. Oh. No, don't turn. No, no, no. Keep it straight. Just not too hard now. Oh, that's oh that's just short. Oh, that's such a shame because it was definitely on track. That was on track. Good job. Pa. Par is fine. He's he's so far ahead at this point. And Bree's parred. Yeah, but, but it's not helping, is it? He could have had that one under. I think it would have uh, really helped. Mm, it would have really helped. Really, really helped. I think that's it. Think is that it? it? Is yeah. it all over? I think so. I think they've called it. I don't know. Yeah, they've called it. Well, congratulations well, to Duncan. That was uh, some good golden teeing. We're going to get him course, in here and yeah. find out about technique, history, how it, much is this game. Oh, is I played. see. Yeah. Just in general, some history. Well, just history. We can, you can ask him the meme question, how often do you think about the Roman Empire if you want. You could ask him that. So what's your answer to that question? Uh, well, I've been playing Rome Total War Right, so often. Week, and I've been playing it for like 14 hours a day. So at the moment... A lot. Constantly. Yeah. Constantly. But previously, I, it, oddly enough, it's one of those things where when people ask you, I, I'm like, yeah, I do actually think about the Roman Empire quite a bit. Like, it just comes up. I mean, we, we, we were sort of discussing this yesterday and it, we were sort of saying like, well, there's a lot in the UK, especially. Yeah. There's a lot of remnants of the Roman Empire. Place names. I mean, I grew up in Dorset. A lot of the places there, Roman influenced on the names, along with Norman and stuff like that. The roads, Bath is right near here. We're in Bristol, so Bath is right ah, Here he comes. Well the, done. The dapper, dapper man himself. So yeah. We expected, yes, we expected. It's dark here, isn't it? Kind of dark. Don't worry about it. Hello. Hello. Hey. Well, good job. I mean, you, you came to play golf and you certainly did Fucking that. Fucking love golden tea games. <laughs> <laughs> well, Why, so how did you, how do you have, a, what's your relationship with golden tea? Why golden tea? We, me and I was found at an arcade the other day, like a few weeks ago. Well, I was speaking and briefly we, to Pyramid. We played about it this. and we loved it, and it, then we found it on that one. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I thought there was a longer history with Golden Tea. I thought you'd played no, it as a kid. Maybe a couple of months, I'd say. A couple of months. Yeah, so, so it's a short love affair. But, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's going to last the rest of your life, is what you Yes, you of course. Love. Okay. I love so, how there's 10 versions and they're all the same. It's just the same. <laughs> It's the no, the the course like change. Yeah, right. the maps change. The maps do they? Yes. Yeah. Well, we. I don't know if they do. Yeah. No, we did. We played, and it was a completely different. Course. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Okay, that's we've been tonight. watching for the last hour or so, and we can see there's definitely a difference. There is. It's a lot of content to be to be had in that game. Yeah. So you saw the double thumb technique, which chat clued us into. Oh, it feels. So it just feels like, cheeky. I like the karate chop method. You like the chop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, it worked. I mean, you finished evens. So that's impressive. Yeah. I, I had a little issue where I couldn't work out how much power to put on the chipper. Right. Other than that. Yeah, we saw that. It was. Yeah, bit... I think I would have got a minus score if I hadn't have fucked that up. So did, did, did Bree state that he was going to go for it often? Because he seemed to take riskier shots. He, well, once, I think he said after he got behind... He had to put risk in. Right. Up. That's mm. fair enough. Yeah. But it just didn't work out. Yeah. No, it didn't. It, I think he completely... He, he beansed it. He, he did. He beansed it, beansed it, yeah. Well, Duncan, congratulations on the Golden Tee victory. Thank Could you. Could you send Bree in here, or is there anything else? I can, Any yeah. final words you've got? Um, Golden Tee rules! <laughs> Golden Tee rules, indeed. Wow. Thanks. There's our winner. Oh, there he goes. The man loves Golden Tee. Bring in the loser. <clears throat> I'm surprised that uh, Lewis hasn't had a go on anything yet. I think he'll be up. I think he's about to play. Ah, uh, okay. Wonder what they're going to play. Something lame. It's Lewis. <laughs> Bree. Oh, Bree. 
Hello, by the way. I've not said hello to you. How's it going? Not bad, not bad. Uh, I maybe woke up about an hour ago, so, so I'm going to attribute my... Here comes the excuses. Horrible loss to that. You tried the uh, the double thumb technique, which I did. you liked. Yeah. But you abandoned it. Did you feel it wasn't working for you? Um, it's mostly Duncan's goading. Because oh. he, he saw me doing that, and then he accused me of like having cheats and hacks and trying to get a one-up on oh. it. So I, I, I went down to his level. That is but his level was already way above me that I couldn't even get there in the first place. We felt that you gambled. There were, there were, you liked the water, and you hit a lot of trees. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that second one, I was actually kind of impressed by because I didn't even mean to do it in the first. Well, I didn't mean to do the other ones either, but it was the fact that it had bounced off and then went somewhere else. Miles away. See. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the shots that you did make were, were very good. Some Those nice some shot. lovely yeah, yeah, shots. Yeah. 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 But um, I didn't get any points for any of my shots. Duncan did. I don't know if you saw that one. We did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. were Great at zero. shot points. That was a bit of an assault. 8K he got for that. Oh, it's mm. Puzzle Bubble. Okay. All right. Thank yeah, so I think, I think next it's going to be uh, Lollip and Lewis. I think it is Lollip and Lewis. Quest, yeah. Puzzle, Puzzle Bobbling, which mm. is a classic. So better luck next time. Thank you, We look Bree. forward to seeing some more of you on stream. Never again golf. It was, uh, no, it was good. It was entertaining. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bree. Look at this. I Who's know. the little alien chap? I don't know. I think he's just offering uh, support, moral support. <laughs> okay. I would rather have the alien than the old man, I think. Rude. Well, he's, he seems to be... Uh, oh, dear. Oh, 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 I think that's Lollip on the left. She might have buggered this up. Needed to get that yellow. Oh, that's nice, though. But Lewis is, is playing nice, clean... Oh, shit! Oh, quick! My oh. head is in the way. Hold on. I'll scoot down. I can oh. lower my chair, actually. Wow, look at look at that. Actually, Lollip is... Is pulling it she back. She pulled it back. Lewis is in big, big bother. Big bubble trouble is what Lewis is He needs is a in. green, yep. And now, I don't know what the little coin does. Is that just like a wild card? I think it's, I think it seems to be I think if blocking. you pop it, yes. I think if you pop around, yes, now the coin falls. Okay, so he lost. He lost. Round one to Lollip. She's, okay, she's really flexing on him, dancing and all sorts. It seems, uh... Okay, I love got, this game so I, much. And I like the backgrounds that we get to have a look at as yeah. well. It's a shame that they're, cover, they're covering them in uh, these orbs. Orbs. I like, uh, I wonder where this is that they're, they're situated in. Yeah, it's kind of got a Great Wall of China thing going on on the right there. Yeah. But there, I think those are actually steps. Oh, uh, yes. No, they do. Do you know what it looks like? Ancient Rome. It does. I was about to suggest that, and I, I didn't want to lean into it because we were just talking about it. Yeah, it does look a bit like Ancient Rome. I kind of thought that Lewis would be better at this. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm You're quite, disappointed. I am disappointed. I'm surprised that Lewis... Okay, well... What's Lollip doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh no, dear. No. The angles are, are, are a little bit off. What's but, the plan here? Well, maybe it was to... Build it up to have a big you don't collapse. Do you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to, if you've gotten a bunch of random colors that don't work out, you want to hang them off a set that you've almost completed. Yes. And then when you pop that one, all the danglers leave, and you're left with a nice clean board. That's that's. Ooh, oh, Lollip's in trouble. Yeah, she is. She is big, in big, a spot oh. of bother. Look at this. See, once it gets down to this, this, you know, the you depth, you do. You, you can't get, get an angle yeah. on them, can you? Yeah. You end up trying to bounce them off the walls yeah. of the of the board. Yeah, but. it's one one now. So if I remember rightly, when the other person gets, as they get bubbles, I think it fills up, and that then pushes your bubbles down. Chat to confirm, but I, I, I think that's what I remember. So the better that your opponent is doing, the they put you under pressure. Right. Exactly. Okay. 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 We're that is a big clump of reds. So what you could do is d hang those extra balls off the bottom, and then hit the red, and you'll you'll clear that whole section. You yes. sort of use it. You bank those extra those e those spare balls you can't use. You bank them in a corner and then you pop it and you get rid of them all. Lewis is crushing I was going to say, he's really actually not disappointed me now because uh, I, was, I was, yeah, I was a bit worried what what he's, what the fuck was he doing? But he's... He's, uh, he's stepping away. He didn't even stand oh, he, there for the victory screen. He's so <laughs> confident. That's 2-1 to Lulu. Okay. This man came to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, yeah, some, yeah, some right. 
continue. I well, just want to understand. Gotta... She won the first <laughs> round, Ozzy, and she was she got like confident. So I know. I, I'm going to beat Lewis easily. <laughs> That's it. You get lured into a false sense of security with Lewis. Yeah. Look at him. He's drinking and playing. He's just being chilling. Casual. Very casual. Are they stick? Are they sticking, or are they skipping to another game? We we seen something else. Well, Lewis. Okay. Oh, I see. So you get to choose your character. I have oh. no idea. Look at the little frog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That looks like Yoshi. It does a little bit. It's got a bit of Yoshi there. Mm. Okay, we're in a different setting. Mm. This kind of looks like... What even is this house? Golden barn? tea. It's a, well, it's a background of golden tea. <laughs> so these little dinosaurs are the same characters that you play as in Bubble Bobble. Right. What? What? What, what are little... these rainbows? It's it's Pride Week in Puzzle Bobble, apparently. <laughs> what are they? What I do they do? Know. I don't know. He's got them. They... She doesn't have no rainbows. They seem bad. I, I know they, they appear to be positive symbols, but I don't think they are. I feel like they are interrupting Lewis's game here. I think that's the point of them. Bub and Bob. Bob and Bob. Is that what they're called? That's... It's lovely. I guess so. Okay, he's. <coughs> he seems. Why did a merman just turn up on the screen? I think, as you said, they're offering their support. Oh. But I don't. I don't understand. Distract oh, is it a man? I thought it was a lady. It's a, it's a fella. It's a merman. I think. I, I see that with what, now that he. There's no boobies. There is no breasts. He's also shirt. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Two two. This is maybe Lollip's character choice has uh, impacted the. The tides and they are turning. Where, what is this place? It's a bunch of stones. Looks like Petra. <laughs> Looks like Petra. Looks like Petra. I am more of a fan of ancient Egypt. Really? I think I spoke. Yeah, I was speaking about this yesterday. I like the hy hieroglyphics. Oh right. I like. I like the uh, aesthetic. I like the fact that they pulled your brain out of your nose. They loved a bit of brain out the nose action. They really did. They do. And, uh, well, they, they did. The canopic jars. Mm. Very cool. Uh, well, then you might be interested in the... There's a new Total War game coming out, Total War Pharaoh, set in that region. But the as as Ben pointed out, that's, the, that's around what they call the Bronze Age Collapse, when basically everything went to shit. Hmm just sort of a, to, in the Bronze Age, and we still don't really know why. Oh, right. So you're setting a game there. It's very bold. He needed to bounce that blue and get rid of those. He's done oh, it! Oh! Oh, oh look hell, at the that. blue bubble! Oh, Lollip is going to lose it. This is 3-2. This is 3-2. Barring a disaster. Yeah, there it is. Boom. Well, good job. <laughs> Cue Tetris music. Okay, we're, this this seems nice. We've really stepped up with yeah. the background. It's like the Forbidden Palace. It's looking lovely, lovely. So uh, the, uh, the 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 ancient Egypt, the ancient Egyptians. Mm. No one knows what what happened then, really. That? Oh no no. So I mean they do, but the, but they didn't write down as much history back then. Mm. Like this was like. It's kind of like history was recorded, but not the way it was. The Romans like wrote shit down, and of course they were around yes. into the ADs. So there was just more stuff being recorded, and and it was just it was a bit different. So the Bronze Age collapse is just something that is not not fully uh, fully comprehended. So to put it in a game is kind of like mm. it's interesting. Yeah. I, uh, well, yeah. This is I, what Brem, Ben was explaining to me last night. I see, yeah. okay. Because, yeah, it um, seemed pretty, like, successful. Knew what, you know, seemed to have their, their stuff together. Well, yeah, but the, here's the thing. They, I mean, they, it was just, it was a big ancient empire. Um, quite famously, the, the pyramids were as ancient to the Romans as ancient Rome is to us now. So... That's... It, it's mad. Bizarre, right? yes. Like, it, it was, it was, that was their version of, wow, ancient history, not like modern day. And this was like 100 BC or whatever. So to them, the Egyptian empire was like this ancient thing. It was, it was crazy. It was like two or 3,000 years they were knocking about. Dang. Okay, so that's... Lewis! Nothing. I have nothing. It was so hard. Okay. Older, yeah. No, it was older. Thank you. More or that it? Wow. Right. Yeah. And that's that. Is that it? Yeah. <clears throat> well, Lewis, I think, won... That I is think, he a bubbler? I'm, I think it is. I think he is. 
appears so. Yeah. He's a bit of a bubbler. You're right. The evidence says this yes. man bubbles. This man, this man bubbles. Lollip, I, I feel like Lollip, Lollip did put up a good fight. I feel like if I was in her position, mm. I wouldn't have done very I well. I reckon Puzzle Bobble is actually, it's not the, it's not like a reaction-based game. Mm. It's just matching colors and just a little bit of planning ahead. I reckon you'd be grand. Oh, well, thanks. I, I, I disagree because you can see the, the, the colors that are coming up, yeah. aren't you? So they're... they're that has, it's kind of like Tetris. You, yes. you have to plan in advance, don't you? Yes. It's very, very similar to Tetris. It's, it's Tetris with colors instead of shapes. That's it. Oh, hello. Here he is. Oh, great victory for me there on Puzzle believe, Bubble. Yes, that was impressive. The Bubble Boy. Have you, you played it much? No, well, not for 25 years. Yeah. But ah. it, all comes, it all comes back real it's quick. It's like riding a bike. It, yeah, I, I guess so, actually. Yeah, in a way. You know, you... Give it a go, and if you don't, you fall into the ditch. Yep. And you break a leg, go to hospital. It's a whole thing. Um, get a rod. Do you need to go installed. to hospital? He doesn't. He won. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I sent fucking Lollip to hospital. Look at how dejected she is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. She's just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking, what are they saying about me? What kind of shit talk are they doing in there? Um, and, uh, yeah, at first I was. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a bit. I was a bit worried for you when we first started out. I was like, "What is Lewis doing?" Because he lost one. Yeah, first round. I didn't round know what lost. I was doing. I didn't. But do you know what? I got my eye in. Yeah, you did. And I also started elbowing her a little bit. Nice. That put her off yeah. real bad. <laughs> right. Okay. So there's your tactics, everyone. Arcade strats. You just want to physically put your opponent off by elbowing them. I reckon, well, I mean, you don't normally have a chance to do that online. Exactly. That's true. You know I mean, yeah. so you've got to take sm every small advantage. Um, just you could also just lean over and mash their buttons a bit. That's all. That always works. I, I don't know. That's just that's that's cruel. You know. Yeah. That's that's too. That's cheating. Just saying. Just chuck it in. A there. little bit of distraction's fine, though. Yeah. You know, a little bit of light like, shit talk as well. If you wanted to mix it up. And lob it, improve your game. If you like whisper them like things like, "Oh, you, if you press this, you get um, you get special ability." Like I said, if you press up, you get special ability. But actually, up just fires the ball. <laughs> so, wow! Like, Holy shit! Smooth. So she started like making mistakes. She was like, "I'm pressing it all the time." <laughs> um, that's that's quite evil. That is a little bit evil. Well, you know, if you want to win, you have to play the game, don't you? Oz, Perrin, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, good, good, good stuff. Uh, so I assume we'll have Lollip to uh, to talk to in a you moment. Know, do you know what a game I would love to see, but I don't think it's on here? Mm. Tempest. Never played Tempest. So Tempest is uh, early vector graphics. So it's all like straight ah, lines. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And it, you're looking down a sort of tunnel and things come up and you have a little thing that spins around at the top of the tunnel and shoots down and you have like a dial. That's the controller to move your guy around. It looked fantastic. Mm. It, the music was really good. It was it was absolutely phenomenal. This is 1942. They made tons of these. Um, it is it is surprisingly hard. If you let a fighter plane pass you, they'll come back from underneath. Oh my goodness! And shoot. You got to you got to watch out. Whoa, that's a big plane. Yeah, that's the bomber. He's got to shoot that down. This is some good 1942ing, in all honesty. I was going to say uh, you can look. I mean, look at Dav. You yeah, can Dav he's, is he, kicking ass. Look at his face. He's so. He's so into it. Yeah, he's really kicking ass here. He's got that, that. That is some nice plane he's got. Looks like the one from Ducktales. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You've got to say ooh, ooh, ooh if someone says ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. Dav's in the zone. He really is. Dav's gaming. I mean, the the the, the, the cabinet is physically being moved. Shaking. It is. <laughs> so. I've not played this game either. Ah, hello, hello. Oh, that was some good bobbling. Very, very good. Put the headset. Yes, we Could well. That was frustrating. Very, very much so. Uh, uh, it was unfortunate. Apparently, I didn't realise, but Lewis was actually physically. He elbowed you. He said he elbowed you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's been. It's hard to talk about it, honestly. Yeah, no, I, that's I feel fair. like I feel like a little shaky just thinking about it. He did. He did physically. Uh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No. Okay. <laughs> I was mostly annoyed with the fact that the his character was sending me shit. So I just literally 
all of a sudden had a new hive of stock to deal with. Yes. So that, that's if he gets a big pop, that bonus pop yep. adds to your yep. collection. And, yeah. Well, it's really hard to deal with. And I think that <clears throat> I can't even remember what I was playing in the first one. So I didn't even know what I was doing to his character. But the second one, I was giving him like weird rainbow yeah, sparkles. Yeah, we, we saw that. We were like, I don't even know what they do. And I'm like, as long as it's helping me win. But he was still playing another bubble creature. So I was still getting given those stupid chunks. Get the bubbles. And they're just overwhelming. Just today just overwhelmed yeah. me. Well, I'm lucky. Yeah. yeah. Apparently yeah. he was giving you incorrect information as well and playing a psychological game. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just feel like I, I was... I just should have played the mental game better, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's my fault I lost. You know, it's not Don't because you yourself. played dirty. No, I no, <laughs> no. I'm um. We can blame I have Stockholm Lewis. syndrome now, unfortunately. Look at the concentration on I this just... man's face. That's the level of concentration you need to succeed at <laughs> You know, I, it's true. I was being very casual. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't hunch back enough. Honestly, like, yeah. oh, seriously, Daft's back is like. It's like a right angle, right? I mean, now. the machine is yeah. shaking yeah. and quaking. It's just lit. Yeah, it's literally. Yeah. No, but we played like, we played Puzzle Bubble Four, and it had a bunch of like anime characters and just I think like all of that just really threw me off like, yeah there's a lot to look at isn't yeah, it? it is quite, it's really complicated it's easy for us to watch somebody else play it yeah. but I can imagine when you're you in were the there in the moment yeah when you you're in know. the when you're in the throes of the bubbles it's I tough could, yeah absolutely I could see I could I would get easily <laughs> distracted so. look at that picture of Sarah in chat God, that is so, so funny, funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that <laughs> That is focused, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. It's so, how is how is this one person have such an emotive face? She does, doesn't she? she does. She's a she's, she's very so funny. She it's is yes. so funny, and she doesn't Sarah. even mean to do it. I know. I know. She's a natural. natural. She just yeah. naturally is just a mm. quirk quirkster. Do you uh, do you think you're going to return to Puzzle Bubble or try a different game? I think I will. Yeah, I think I will play a different game. A different, and, uh, see, find where my strengths lie. Golden tea. Yeah, we can't. Can, can we just suggest golden tea? <laughs> yeah. Is that because you like the game that we much? Love it. We, uh, we've not had as much fun watching a bit of that golf. <laughs> we loved it. <laughs> okay, I did like the look of it, so I'll give, give it a try. Give it a go. I'll give, give it a try. It, might, it right. might be your game. Might okay. Be. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Not I would do it down. just for you guys. Just Thank for you. Guys. Nice. All right. Thank you, Laura. I'll see you. Thank you very much. Good job. Good job. Um, see, we've still just got Dav going at it. Look at him. Unstoppable. How long is he? He's very good at this. He is. Is he? D I wonder if he's the under 16s. The under 16s Canton champion of 1942. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look okay. at this lad. This is. These are the guys in the arcade that step up, and you're like, oh, how good is this guy going to be? And they fucking destroy. Guess the pal? What? Well, Pierre? <laughs> Are they shreddies? What? Are they shreddies? What? Pierre! <laughs> Look, he's got... Oh my god, what is triple this? Triple ship! What is this? Look at that, he's lost one. Oh dear. He lost a wingman. Oh, oh no, no! no! Oh. It's because Pierre cut away. I don't even understand. Yeah, let's watch Pet eat shreddies. I mean. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to get Brie. We're going to have a bit of Brie time. Brie time. Brie time. Oh, I could go for some Brie. Oh, yes. Yeah. What is it, uh, your hangover food of choice? Bacon sarni. Oh, there, aren't really, there isn't really much any. There's nothing better, is there, really? No. Um, are you a, a, a brown bread, white bread, shit white bread? I, I like white bread for a bacon sarni. Uh, sourdough is my favorite bread, Ooh. but it's a bit hard it for, the, for the hangover and the bacon sarni. It's a bit, I mean, I love like really nice butter on toasted sourdough, mm. a bit of pate maybe mm. on there. But if, I, if I'm hungover, I want something simple Soft. and childlike to eat. Yes. White bread. Bacon, mm. job done. Butter? Uh, I do put butter in because then the bacon melts the butter. Yes. But I'm not a sauce fan. I'm not either. Yeah. You don't meet many of us. No. And I'm like, why would you ruin the flavor of the bacon and the bread and the butter and everything? And now it's just like, stick some fucking sweet shit all over that. That's all I'm going to taste. Yeah, sugar. Get it gone. Yeah. Do, uh, I mean, because 
I, I was going to say people are very much in ketchup or brown sauce camp, mm. aren't they? There's... Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of either. I know. Honesty. Yeah. No. I like it occasionally. I think McDonald's do something different because I I will have I will have a ketchup for my fries. Right. Or a fried bread um you know eggy bread. Mm. The the you know that's nice with a bit of ketchup. So here's one with an omelet. I always have ketchup on the side with an omelet. Interesting. Because an omelet is not like a super flavorful thing it's like it's nice it's nice if it's good eggs mm. you don't need anything but a little bit of ketchup just a regular old omelet you've just boshed in oh you know what i like to put in my my omelets is chorizo and red pepper Ooh. and get that in there and the pepper adds this wonderful crunch to the mm. omelet oh my dream have you you know jacques pepin the french chef i do i do not know him He's, he is fantastic he has the, a really good french accent he there is a video on youtube where he cooks the two kinds of omelet the sort of country style omelet, as he calls it, which is the one that you would cook at home, you know. The traditional. Like, yeah, the one where it's kind of got brownie bits and yellowy bits and it's a little bit harder on the outside. The French style omelet, you know the way you'd cook an omelet, you sort of let it set and you just sort of pull the egg into yes. the middle and then you fold it over. With the French style omelet that he did, the classic French omelet, you keep it moving all the time. Right. And it, you never let it brown. Interesting. And then you sort of tap, tap, tap and set it. And then you serve it. And it's got this wonderful sort of diamondy shape like that. And it's completely white Ooh, and pale. Oh, yes. And then you cut it in the middle. And it's like it's Oozy. barely, it's still oozing in the middle. It looked amazing. But they look hard to cook. So I'm going to give that a go. Yes. I I think uh, omelets are quite, I think you've got to have a knack for eggs. Mm. You've got to be a good egg. You've got to be a good egg. You gotta be a good egg. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I feel like an omelet isn't something that anyone really teaches you either. I feel like you've got to f- like, you've got to feel. You've got to find your way. You do. Mm, yeah. It's a journey. You, you can't. You can't teach a man to make an omelet. But you can give him eggs. You can. You can give him eggs. Yeah. Um, ah, it's, it's schmutzy. It's my little dog schmutzy. The schmutzy. Yeah, schmutzy. Oh, look at him! Isn't he? I like <laughs> how he's gone so. Bobbly, because everybody <laughs> stroke him. I, uh, I, I would say I'm just trying to think about bacon now. Uh, I like. I think I'm a, more of a sausage. Oh, you like a sausage sandwich? Oh, so yes. good. What about a fish finger sandwich? Oh, so Holy good, shit. right? They are Holy so good. Holy shit! What I would do for a fish finger sandwich right now? Yeah, I would love a fish finger sandwich. Despicable thing. So here's something you can try. Mm. This is something that we make. If we're like. Mrs. F will be like, uh, I'm going to make some lunch. Would you like a fish finger bagel? So you get a bagel and you put mayonnaise on it. Oh. And then you do the fish fingers and put them in the bagel. I tell you what, it, I don't know what is happening there, but it's like, this is incredible. Or you get a chicken burger. You know the chicken burgers are like, it's got the crispy crumb on the outside. Mm. One of them in a bagel. Oh. Top tier. Wow. Top tier. I don't know why. Daily Thompson's Decathlon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> or is this track and field? Is this track and field? This game is so hard. Who is playing who? Oh, it's Dav on his own. I think this is track and field. Oh, this game was so legendary. I've never played it, never heard of it, never seen it before in my life. Look at the graphics. This was like so good. Yes, Dav? Oh! That's not bad. That's not bad. And look, the little lad comes out and measure. Oh, I, I love this Holy game. Holy shit, this is incredible. It's really hard, but it's a really good game. The, the hurdles is tough. Oh God, the timing, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. You've got to whack the buttons. Look at Dav's hands go. So he's jumped early, which has cut down in the, on his, mm. uh, his distance. Um, so one of the things you can do, this is kind of a trick. People just hit the button. But what you can do is like you can double tap the button if you use two fingers. But you can also do a thing where you move your fingers. You get the button down and you just just barely release it. Oh. So you're not letting it all the way up. So that can, cuts in. You, so you sort of go like that. You're, right. you're, you're going across the top of the button. You, you can do that. This is uh, it's interesting, interesting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> interesting stuff. The old rub technique. The old rub technique, yeah. With regard to buttons. But by the way, did it say Dav for everything? I think Dav's been caning this game. <laughs> he, says, he was everywhere on the scoreboard. I like how he's actually put his name in as well. Dav. Well, you know, usually, as we've <clears throat> seen before, people will put ass. They ass. will put cum. Yeah. They will, you know, any three-letter word yeah. you like. But Dav is... 
<laughs> That's a good boy. He's just, he is. He's, Look, and also, he's representing the under-16s Canton Championship. <laughs> he can't be sullying can't. his good name. He's, got a, he, he's, a, he's a representative. I'm just intrigued. I feel like bacon bagel is good as well with mm. cream cheese. You ever yeah, had, you ever oh, had I love cream cheese. So when I do my bagels with cream cheese, I tend to have them with like salami. Ooh, okay. Um, and, and mustard. So what I'll do is I'll put cream cheese on one side of the bagel, mm -hmm. salami, and then mustard on the other side of the bagel. Nice. Top tier. That does sound very good. Yeah. I, I feel like I, I don't get what bagels do very often because mm. I feel like you get quite a... F I'm one person. Yeah. And you if, have to get yeah. six bagels. And if I'm the, if I've if I've got them, they're gonna get eaten, and the, it's like the equivalent of five slices of bread or something. Oh really? Well, I don't know. I feel I, like that might be made up. No, I think you're right. I think that the other thing for me is the bagels that you can get in the shops are not really good bagels. No. Like when you go to a good proper bagel place, the mm. bagels are like S tier. So I was watching um a i think it was a youtube video mm. and they were making multicolored bagels yeah there's and they look kinds of bagels disgusting. yeah I, it's not for me keep it simple look like plasticine i don't want to eat plasticine no, i don't want to eat plasticine if you go i was in new york they do obviously bagels in new york are kind of synonymous but um one of the things they'll do is they'll hollow out the bagel mm. so they'll take the bagel and they'll scrape out some of the You've inside like this, of the dough this this moat like a moat exactly right moat i like that and then they put th stuff in the moat hmm. so it's like instead of being like this tall you've got room so it's more like a delivery mechanism for whatever's in there uh, <laughs> I thought, thank you for like <laughs> <laughs> that was a gentleman that one <laughs> that's like the traditional bagel but uh, I, I just like it with just good cream cheese really good cream cheese and a good bagel you're away look at this jump that's nearly seven wow oh it's a foul foul oh they, oh. They failed to, so you just ran into the sand. Lads, what's going on? All right. Oh, we this, got, this is good. We've got a jump. This is good. That's six. six. What? Ooh. What's he got? Ooh. <laughs> we don't get to see the. I think it was like five, five meters I 57. Think it was six. 6.57. Oh, so this is it. Once again, man versus Ned. Yeah. This is the battle of the ages. I don't think I don't think Bree's done it. Maybe though. Oh, <gasps> five seventy-one. He's way off. Is that better or worse? That's worse. You want to jump further? Well, six is greater than five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Yes, because I thought <laughs> I thought <laughs> I th <laughs> no, I thought that Duncan only got five. No, no, no. Okay, okay. D Duncan's doing better now, I think. Yeah. I don't know how numbers work. Duncan is ahead anyway. I think Ned is struggling. Bree is the one struggling. Winner is... 2P man. 2P, That's the man. 2P man. 2P man. Ooh, javelin throw. Here we go. Did you, uh, did you ever play, um, you know, for PE? Did you ever do javelin? And... Yeah, it's fucking impossible. It really is. I like, so they're hard. expecting children yeah. to perform athletics. I know. Like shot put. It's so hard. Oh yes, I'll, I'm a small child. I will throw this cannonball. <laughs> like. Did you know what's funny is my eldest is like, oh, he just kept running. That's a fact. <laughs> and then he's just trying to, he's trying to kill someone in the crowd. <laughs> That's very poor. Oh dear. Oh dear. It only went 15 meters as well. <laughs> um, so my eldest had to do javelin at school mm. because everybody got. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. This is very nice. I think it's still short of the 70. Coming down around 55, 54, mm -hmm. maybe. 52, 99. So, um, so basically everyone in the class or the year is given, or sorry, her form it is, mm. is given like, right, you're doing the shot putt, you're doing the hurdles, you're doing this. And the javelin was left over because she wasn't really very good at any of it. They were like, you can do javelin. And she was like, okay. She wasn't very good. Oh. <laughs> she was like, I'm doing the javelin. I was like, oh, were you good? She was like, no, but someone had to do it. Oh, well, I was that, like, well, fair enough. She sounds like a good sport, at least. She, 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 she can be a good sport, yeah. Yeah. She can be a good sport. I, Give it a go. I remember I had to just have a go at everything, I think. It was yeah. like, we're, we're going we're gonna to make you do it all. Yeah. You know. What about the high jump? Oh, my, so I mean, could you hot. imagine me, a five foot nothing <laughs> individual, uh, trying to high jump? Um, 
you've got to you've got to contort yourself as well. You know, you your it's, back it's is a lot of contorting. Like woo. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't think it's. Uh, Do you think what would be fair would be it's it's the it's high jump relative to how high you are? Oh, look at that pickup! Oh, the finish! Oh shit! So hang on, Lollip. Oh, the CPU just took off. Oh again. shit! That's my bad. Oh, there's here's a gif of Dav playing uh, 1942. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. I love Lollip has failed to jump at all, really. <laughs> oh no. The oh. guy's measuring it, just yeah, she's not yeah, she's not having fun with this one. I, I don't Here we go. We we suggested golden tea. And she's not taking her advice there. What can I say? This isn't this is He's just jogging. You've got to leg it. What oh my god, he's gonna be lucky if he makes the sand. Go measure it. <laughs> This is this is very poor. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on now. I think uh, hurdles as well like you, you She's not even going to get <laughs> in the sandos. <laughs> two. No, no. No. Oh. You don't get take two. Doesn't want to get his shoes sandy. Yeah. He's like I don't like that sand. At all, at all. That's probably one of the my least favorite things about going to the beach. Sand. Bloody sand. It's just horrendous. Mm. At least, uh, I think, is it um, Brighton? Mm. Stony of, Beach. Stones. Love it. Yeah. Love it. I don't. I like sand. Oh, do you? Yes. Okay. And you wash yourself off in the sea. There's a bath right there. But then you get back out and it's sand. Yeah, but it's only on your feet. Or you go to the on the promenade. Oh, like there's next, usually then you a go tap, on the shower. Yeah. yeah, there's a tap. It's just a bit of sand. It's nice. It feels good. I grew up, though, in, growing up in Bournemouth, we were at the beach all the time. Mm. So, you know. <laughs> Frankly, being covered oh. in sand doesn't bother me. Ned exiting. What's Ned gonna play now? I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued. I'm exci excited. I hope we get to see either something new and different or golden tea. Those are the, those are the options. Yeah, that's it. You either surprise us with something or you do what we like, which is GT, which we love. Boba goes to the beach with socks. Is that true? Is that true? Boba, what? If so, colour me disappointed. Boba should be locked up. Quite I, right. I agree. Quite right. Ask her. That can't be real. There's, a, there's just no practical reason to wear socks at there, the It's going to be hideous. Like, you don't like sand? Now imagine sand in your socks. You can't even clean them out. Oh, that's the worst thing is getting sand in your shoes. Yes. And then for the next week, you're finding sand all through the house. I mean, I've, I've probably still got shoes with sand in them yeah. from my childhood. <laughs> my feet have not grown <laughs> since so, I was that small. So uh, at what point did you top out at five feet? I've, I can't remember, honestly, but it, I think it was definitely while I was at school. Mm. I just not... Just and everyone not else is like growing and you're just like, I'm done. I'm happy with I'm this. I'm finished. Yeah. Can't be asked anymore. Uh, that's it, yeah. She wears them on her hands, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Full Victorian swimsuit. Yeah, that, that gives me... Uh, I'm very um, very sad for everyone that lived in the 20s wearing mm. their uh, woolen swim costumes. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? Rescue this is state-of-the-art. Time, Time crisis. crisis! Hell yeah, let's finally, go! Finally! Let's go. It only took two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> for some, for somebody to finally get to the good stuff. Well, apart, bam! Apart from Golden bam! Tea. Look at this. Ba bam! What a game! This is excellent. Oh shit! Yeah, you gotta get that guy. Look, He's there's dead. lads up up there as well. Oh, oh, oh! Get the rocket guy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! He'll he'll mess you up. I hope two guns work. Reload! Reload! Can, can you use both guns? Uh, if you pay, you can have both guns. Yes. So uh, there was a game called Operation Wolf, which sadly won't be on here because the controller was an Uzi. So the cabinet had a gun and you aimed the gun and the side button was a grenade launcher. Um, and then the sequel was called Operation Thunderbolt and had two Mac-10s. Oh, wow. And if you paid double, you could go double-fisted gunplay. Like, it was amazing. Sick. That sounds great. Yeah. I don't think in real life very practical. No, apparently two, going two-handed is like the worst thing you could do because you're just going to be like... Okay. But if you're up close, if we're in a fight, 
and you pull out one gun, I pull out two. two. I think I've doubled my chance of hitting it with five feet or less. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. I feel like you've definitely got an advantage. Yeah, you've got to hold them both sideways too. Yeah, I, th I think that definitely m must help. Operation Wolf is on the 9,000 games list, so it is on here. Well, you could play it with the shooty gun, but the Operation Wolf one was fixed to the cabin. Oh, I see. It was fixed see. in there, and you just rotated it around. It was very hard. You can't aim both. Yeah, exactly. Because you're, you're looking down, the, you've got to line up the front sight in the middle of the two rear sights. Mm. So you can aim one, and the other one's just for company, I guess. Have you ever shot a gun? In yeah, loads of times. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I, I haven't. I'm hoping that in uh, in Vegas this year, I will get Oh, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vegas has a lot of range. Well, I've, I've, I've been there twice before, and I didn't get the opportunity. Oh, well, you've got to make the opportunity. I suppose. Yeah. I've got to, I've got to make... Oh, Lydia's here. Lids. Hello. Hello. I hope Lids might... Shoot those grenades. Might bless us with some golden tea. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I think I could see Lids being a good golfer. Oh, yeah. She's got the hype for it. I, sure. Yeah. Do you have to be tall to golf? No, not at all. No. Do they do special clubs um, for shorter? Yes, they do. Yeah. Uh, for the little kids and stuff, they have the smaller clubs. No, no, no. They, you, like the, the, the length of the club, like, you know, you, you don't have some tiny person using. But equally, it doesn't matter too much because you can just stand further back. Oh, OK. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, and then, uh, like, I, I know that... Um, when I was playing, some of the younger girls that were like 16, 17 had so much flexibility, they can get the club back and their whole body is like, Whoop! and they wind up and then like, pow! <laughs> I was like, damn. Hello. Hello. Uh, do you guys want to play a game? Yes. Oh my gosh. What's it going to be? Golden. A fucking golden tea, bitches. All right. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sure we got a friend that we can bring in. God, can we can we get this cut off the screen? It's so flashy uh, lights, Pierre. It's giving me epilepsy. Yes. Um, oh my god, this is not. That was not some of these old arcade games where the light, the screen just flashes white every second. Oh, the rules didn't matter back then. You ever seen that Pokemon episode? You could get away with anything. You seen that po Porygon Pokemon episode? No, I haven't. Why? It, it literally it, gave like a generation tens, if not hundreds, of kids like seizures across Japan. <laughs> Never made it out to the West. Really? It's a real thing. Yeah, it's just red, bright, just like bam, 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 bam. It's just too too much flashy, flashy. What up, chat? How are you? Uh, what, what do you think they're going to play? Uh, well, they said they were going to play the golf one, actually. Yeah, Pyrian's been desperate to play the golf one. I think everyone's been fine-tuning the, uh, the strat. Pyrian came out during the break earlier on. Apparently, chat said about the two-thumb technique. Oh. It looked very intimate. Lydia oh, Ringy! Lydia, I'm just going to go and hug hugos. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. It's I like think today, little... like, there's a load of people who have come to the office who just haven't been in ages. Like, I know I've not really been Well, it's because we have the Jingle golf Jam. 15th. Birthday party. God, we're old. 15th birthday party today. We do. So. A little get together. We're going to get, we're going to have a little party. The thing is, right, is Duncan's a... come in and Duncan's come in like dressed up like Lollip, like looking dressed up. Everyone's looking really, it was smart casual is what was said. And some people are teetering into smart and I'm like, oh, I'm going to look underdressed. No, no, no. Smart casual just allows people to wear a dress. Yeah, I guess so. Because it can be mean smart or casual, really. I think it was uh, <laughs> Sophie was like, so I was between a dress or a skirt, uh, but I've got these really bright green, I think they're like gremlin socks on. And she was like, so I feel like the skirt's not going to happen. <laughs> we were like, show the socks off, show it to everyone. Yeah, I think I think the girls are going to be more scared about being underdressed than the guys, right? I, I guess so. Well, I mean, Dun Duncan set the bar now. I'm not going to meet it. Meet it. I'm going just. Black jeans, black t-shirt, simples. I'm not changing. You're not. You're going like this. You're going like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it sounded in my head when I said that. Didn't mean it that way. Or did I? Mm. They are golfing it, years. aren't they? Yeah. Well, it's not 15 years since the first Minecraft video. Remember, we were going before that. We just didn't have any success. Oh, so is that is that the benchmark date we're working from? Is the first Minecraft video? No, it's from the, or the first channel being made. Right, gotcha. So there was the podcast sort of minimally predated that i guess yeah and then was there i guess the guild and stuff was even a bit before then joe you know what i came in a year or two in so i don't know like the the earliest law still it's no one does because it's all been for except lost. for boba <laughs> it's all been forgotten cut this period and o's doing a bit of arcade here we go some some of the people boba does try and learn 
as much law as I can. Lewis, where's your custom tux? I haven't, I haven't had a chance. Honestly, I've been working so hard. Oh, did you not have one for the Grand Appeal? I feel like I heard about this. I actually used the one I used for Simon Clark's wedding. I got it out from a year ago. Nice. And I wore the same one. The one I went to... Um, I wish we could hear what Osi says. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck is this? This is bullshit. I'm watching this. <laughs> it's not straight to a cactus. Have you seen how they rage on this? Like the golfers themselves in this, they'll like snap the club or they'll just like throw their head in their hands. Like this means everything to them. Well, we can listen in. Let's have a little listen. Yeah, in. Oh. Is that right? I don't know. I remember when Martin was too young to join the Elks cast. Never. He might be there, right? God, he really goes through that double thumb. Thumb. We're on the collar. I don't know if he's going to be. That's all right. That's nice. Uh, yeah, it's cleaner than I thought. Two. What's this? That's the, the, the secret bunker where they do. So when I played this, I didn't feel as though there was any kind of major. I, I guess for, for the long drives, it does matter which way the ball goes. But I found for things like putting or getting out of the sandpit, it was just more about the power forwards. There was no directional interest inside of it. This that yeah, font is so 90s. Sorry. The, the word art shadowed font. Well, this whole game looks weird because it's obviously done in a pixel art style, but it's quite high res at the same time. It's like this weird oh, exactly. cursed in between. It's got this Seinfeld vibe. This oh. is the kind of George Costanza would be playing <laughs> oh. in the office. It looks like, I tell you what, it's like how they did Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like with Mortal Kombat, they actually took pictures or videos of real people doing the moves and then they like crunch them down. <laughs> Tarvis just said he broke his finger when he was a little kid playing this game because he pushed the ball like too hard and like, snapped his finger oh, on the Oh, the top screen. of the... Ooh, yeah. so you do that roll, you have to roll that stupid ball. God, I mean, do you remember all the controller injuries you get as well from like... <laughs> oh, dude. I think most of my injuries came from having, you know, when you go around to a friend's house and they give you like the real budget second player controller and it's just, it always had a turbo button and they get mad at you when you press it by accident, even though you just clearly didn't mean to press it. But like the button shapes were so unrelenting, like they'd have really sharp corners on the rise. The Sega Mega Drive, like off-brand controllers were <laughs> abysmal. Some of them were really just style over substance as yeah. well. They just wanted to sell them. And so they were not com not designed for human hands. What are they going for? Go oh, is, is this Pyrian doing gum again? Gum. No, Pyrian was saying that he's always put the word gum as his like arcade name. But I, he said, I, I've no idea why. No clue. I'm going to go for gum. I've just been putting cum every time that I've gotten on a leaderboard today. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a class. It's been cum and ass. Uh, ass is the old, old OG. It's the old one. What on gut? I think they've moved games because they were scared of being as long as put. I think that's the truth behind it. They played the first golden tee and Nina got like the longest putt and it put her on top of the leaderboard and nobody's been brave enough to try and top it. It's kind of fun looking at all these old... Um, all these old arcade games. Some of them are like... They're all very simple, right? Yeah. And in a sense, like kind of shit but it's something quite nice about them for five minutes each yeah I think that's what it is I think games nowadays like they have to appear to be really in depth and thought about and complex but and I think stuff, these games though simple games are fun man but, but I think I, what I'm saying is like they're, they're, they're 50p's worth of game yeah 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 <laughs> do you know what I mean like it's a 50p experience it's like playing a game of pinball on them they, you know they're designed for an arcade you know you're going to get like five minutes out of it and then that's it and you don't feel as though you've been totally ripped off. No, it was like a fun experience that is boring for more than five minutes. So you that's play kind a different of arcade. That's my game. mindset with like, if I go to a casino and I, if I play blackjack and stuff, if I take in like 20 quid, but I'm at the, the table for like an hour, two hours, something like that, and I'm just really stretching it thin but come out with literally nothing, I'm like, well, that money just went to the experience. Yeah. Rather, I don't feel as though I'm short 20 quid. But I feel like, like I'm actually feel getting like something. Get that experience in five minutes, Martin. Like, you don't need an hour there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? On roulette, you can get you can get the vibe of being at the roulette table in five minutes. It's a slow burn for me. Yeah. I like, I like to watch the like decline slowly. I like to see my life implode. Well, that's okay. That's fine too. That's a weak putt. Damn. Oh, wow. You don't... Oh. I thought that was going to be way too much after it's hard the, to, the first one was. That ball is very hard to judge how to fucking use that ball. Yeah. Because I, I full sent it on one of them thinking like, oh, this is too much. And it just drooped. And I was like, really? It said double bogey up there. And I thought it said dad bod for some reason. That's I think it's because I'm looking at Pyrian in the corner. <laughs> 
There have been some wild shots today on this. We Watching have... Nina and Harry play was a whole nother thing. Everyone in, this, in there is always complaining, like, Tyrion and Ozzy aren't paying any attention to the game or giving any good commentary. We're just the same, though. Like, yeah. I don't know who's winning. Oh, oh it my hit God. the pole. Tyrion hit the pole. I feel like this should just be an thin. automatic. That was like, thrilling. Goal. Goal? They don't call them goals in golf, do they? Putt. And then, is it a putt if you send it from far away and it goes in? Golf or two. Uh, no. I don't know what the terminology would be. Like, So if you hit it from halfway up the green, it goes straight in. Is that a putt? No, no, no. You have to use the putter. So I guess it would be... A it's, it's just called a drive, a, a chip, chip in. in. A dunk. A dunk. I like the word dunk. That's when you put it in your set. You <laughs> <throw it. laughs> Fuck this shit. I feel like there's an opening for us to give a word to it. Yeah, we could coin a new golf word. Honestly, we've got to limit it to three letters, though. It's a come. If you hit it from anywhere other than the green that it goes in, you've just come. It's a, it's a, it's a come. You've just come. I like that. Great, yeah. Flax does not look happy. <laughs> Why not? Uh, he knows. I don't even know. Even with that hole. He just looks purely disappointed. Problem is now is he's going to come in and now I know how they felt for the last three hours. We're going to interview the winner. Let's interview the winner. Like, tell, us, tell us how that's gone. How's that happened? It's a good thing we can't lip read, isn't it? Because well, then tell. I went over to Gene and said, ah, if you take my library card one more time, <laughs> I'm going to take this book, this encyclopedia, and I'm going to knock you over the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> You've now got a dub what Lids is saying back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, dinosaur books are really heavy. They'll give you a real good hit, but then it will leave a dent, and obviously the pop arts don't work then. So I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, we're just we're just winner, please. Just winner. People. Just a winner. Winner like, only. Loser can stay out. Loser, well, loser can leave. Yeah, they'll commentate after we've had a chit chat. I know you'll commentate again, but I'm gonna do. Fuck it. All right, fine, Pierre. <laughs> fine. Do you know what? <laughs> fine. Nice. Thank you, Pierre, for kicking them out. Yeah. Job restored. Well, good golden team. What a game. What a game. What a game. I pulled it back. Got pulled it back yeah, a little bit. You really did. A lovely putt. We, I did do a lovely putt. I don't you know did. what you were up to. I just flummoxed it at the end there. It's classic. Classic flax. I, I mean, I misspelled my own name. I've got experience with that. It's okay. Don't worry. Um, so we've got... Oh, no, it's Bree. Bree is back on it again. It's addictive, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, Do you know what I think it is as well? Oz is... I like arcade games where it's not just a stick and buttons. Mm. There's something about... Tactic. It's tactile. The tactile nature of yeah. it, where it's, it's literally not, oh, I just mistimed it. It's like... Oh, I missed it because it, it, it just feels like you're more in control. Yes, there is a, a certain... I feel like it's definitely a skill game rather oh. than luck, you know. Fuck this fucking skill all the way down. Okay, we've got Lollip back. Will she redeem? Can she redeem? Golfer, one. I want to see some club smashing. I do too. I, I'm surprised I didn't get to smash my club. Yeah. Because I, I definitely... I definitely played poorly. He's not happy with that shot. Golfer two. Golfer two. <laughs> oh, the way it doesn't say player two, it says golfer two. I do like that. Yes. Well, We're golfers. We're not playing games here. No. We're golfers. <laughs> it's not a game. It's not a game. This is golf. It's golf. I wonder if there's a... <clears throat> there must be a snooker cabinet. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you not seen them? No. So these are, these are the things you tend to get in pubs that are, I, I want to say, a little bit more of an old man pub. Mm -hmm. There'll be a golden tea, there'll be a, a snooker game, and then there'll be like one of those quiz machines. Yes. And a fruit machine. Like those are what you see in there. You don't get tech and three in there. They want to play golf or snooker, watch the, watch the bowls on the TV. It's, it's very old man. I've never seen one. I, I, I can't imagine it translates very well to a, a cabinet. Snooker? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, usually you tend to find that there's a oh, pool table, but I suppose they are quite large, aren't they? They are big, yeah. Especially and also, tables. I, I think 
people come to a pub to play pool. Mm-hmm. They don't come to the to the pub to play golden tea, although they should, quite frankly. <laughs> I mean, if my local had one of these, <laughs> sit down there every night. I'd be broke because uh, I'd be putting my putting my pennies in the machine and. Aggie, has he named himself after my dog? That's very sweet. Aww. Um, I didn't realise he had a dog. Yeah, a little French bulldog. Aww. Agnes, so we call her Aggie. Miss her. You should have brought her with you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. She, just, she, loves, she loves Mrs. F more than anybody in the entire universe. So she just wants to stay with Mrs. F. So, uh, yes. It's like when I, I go away for a few days, my cat falls out with me. Yeah. Oh, so you would be streaming from the pub. I totally would be. Do a live stream golden tea. It'd be, I think it would be a hit. <laughs> Does it, like, it becomes more degenerative. Golf for one has honours. Oh, golf for one has honours. Quick zoom. Alex. <laughs> We've also got a surprise coming up at the end of this stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, very, get ready. Oh, get gonna ready. Be, it's going to be very exciting. Yeah, if you guys like surprises, and this is no cap for real, for real, on God, there will be a surprise <laughs> at the end of this stream. <laughs> Bam! I love the build up there. That was good. That was an excellent shot. That's really good. I feel like Lollop is is uh, is improving. I love the way she goes and sits down when it's not her turn. <laughs> oh, no, she's there. She's just out of shot. I oh, think she right. sat down. <laughs> it's hard work. They say golfing is really good for you, don't they? It's quite a... I mean, old people can play it. But it's a nice walk. You're outdoors. You're walking around. This was a lot of... The, my golf club and a lot of golf clubs were very angry because when the government did lockdown, Mm -hmm. ending things that were like indoors and close, like, you know, pool, fair enough. But everybody was like, but golf is outdoors. It's probably the least social game. Yeah, there's no physical contact. You're generally not standing anywhere near each other. Worried that all these men are going to start kissing each other, maybe. But yeah, I know. (laughs) Well, I don't know. But yeah, that is, it's a ridiculous thing to to ban, isn't it? Yeah, because the golf clubs are like, "This this would be the perfect thing to not... But they're like, no. So that was when I was just getting into golf oh. and I was I was going uh, like every week and then they locked down <clears throat> and I lost everything I'd learned. I'd forgotten and then I didn't play for a year because it's so hard. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You've got to play every week or you just sort of start fucking it's up. It's like bowling. You have to kiss after every hole. It's an official golf rule. <laughs> I would like that. That'd be great. Congrats, little smooch. <laughs> All right, let's move on. What's your thoughts on bowling? So I, when I was growing up in New York, I, I bowled every weekend. Nice. We were in a... I bet, you, a, 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 I bet you're fucking good. I had trophies. I had trophies. No word of a lie. Oh, my God. I Canton's was like, under 16. I was yeah. Canton's under 16 bowling champ. But I, mean, I literally used to play like bowling every week, and we competed in tournaments and stuff like that. <clears throat> but now, I, 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 sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll do well, but I, I don't have the... I don't bowl often. Mm-hmm. This kind of shit, isn't it, really? You know what I mean? It's all right. Oh, but it's not like, you know, it's all, it's, it's pretty. It's one of the only things I, um, actually, I'm not very good at it, but I, I'm, I can play. I know the rules. Right, right. So I think that's another thing. Like, there's chess. I don't know how to play that. Oh, it's simple. Like, the rules are simple for chess. Is it really? Yeah. There's so many pieces. Oh, but oh. There's, there's, there's like, let me think. There's one, so one, two, three, four, five. There's only six things you need to know when it comes to moving the pieces. Oh, okay. So, the, the, you know, you've got your pawns. On their first go, they can move forward two squares. After that, they can only move one square. Okay, okay. The, bit, the rooks can only move horizontally and vertically, so up, down, left and right. The knights move in an L shape, and the L shape is like either one forward or two to the left or right, or two forward and one to the left or right. It, it gets easier once you've played it a bit. It, it's second nature. The bishops can go diagonally. Right? The queen can move anywhere. Yes. As long as it's on line, you know. As long as it's on the board. And the king can only move <laughs> one square at a time. Okay. And he can move he can move in any direction but only one square at a time. That's it. It's very simple. So you can move the queen like all over the shop. Yep, that's why she's the most powerful piece. Right. So taking the opponent's queen is like huge. Yeah. Because it's a she can, she can move up, down, left, right, she can move diagonally, she does it all. Because women always have to do it all. The bloke's just moving around at a snail's pace. Chess is a, effectively a great allegory for uh, for, for any relationship. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at this. I'm sitting here watching golf, like golden tea, 
Mrs. F is hard at work. Yes. So, you know, I'm, I'm the king in this scenario. <laughs> She's the queen. But in, in <laughs> fact, the queen is the one that truly wields the power. Well, you kind of, I've forgotten those rules already, kind of. <laughs> I, so it's two, pawns two pieces at the start and then one, and one place after. Yeah. And they can only go forwards. Yeah. Uh, but they, uh, they take diagonally. So they threaten God. on a diagonal. So the diagonal one up left and right from them is what they threaten. Oh my God. It's a far more complicated game than it ought to be, it's, in it's, my opinion. It's very, it's simple to play, lifetime to master. Add you one. Oh my goodness! Wait. That's after three holes. Congrats to Bree, one by oh, a stroke. Good. Oh wait, oh, we're wait. doing the full nine. I, I don't think, I don't have think, have think we are. Yes, I don't think we are because we we're gonna have to wrap up the stream, and of course we do have our exciting announcement. Pierre, confirm. One second. We have one, one second. second left, according to Pierre. Yeah, drafts I like because mm. that's you know. I get I get it. Right. That's all. Like that's diagonals only, though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I learned to play solitaire through Frog Fractions. Oh, what a game. I didn't know how to play solitaire before that. I had to learn in order to... Uh, to Frog Fractions. To progress. I, I, I went into that game completely blind. A friend so, of mine uh, was yes. like, play this game. And I was like, oh, this is okay. And then I was like, why am I getting this? Like, this is, is this, yeah. getting really complicated. And then, of course, it goes absolutely batshit crazy. What a game. Yeah. If you haven't played it, you should. I, but yeah, it taught me many things. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Taught me solitaire. Yeah, I'll, at one point I, I will maybe learn to play chess. You can play, there's chess.com. Uh, you can just play against the AI. It'll teach you. It's good. It's a fun game. Oh, does it teach you as well? Yeah, yeah. Oh. There's all these puzzles you can do where it's like, how does white win in one move from mm. this position? And that sort of unlocks your your brain a little bit. What's that? Oh, oh hello. Ooh. Who's this? I'm crashing the stream. Oh, shit. Stream oh. crashed. Guys, We've been stream crashed. I'm, cra I'm crashing. You Do you know what's happening right now? Well, I have no idea what's golden happening tea. right You're now. interrupting golden tea, Tom. This it's worth interrupting <laughs> golden tea. Okay. Everybody, hello. It's uh, a special uh, little uh, announcement, everyone. We have the world premiere of the Taskbox trailer that is about to go out. Now, Taskbox is going out, coming out. Next, this has been announced. The date? Yeah. Next, <laughs> next uh, on Friday, a week today, and today Ooh. we are going to release the trailer and announce the entire cast. Everybody, oh. it's happening. Are you ready? Do it. Shit. Let's do it. Reverse pump those brakes. Do the opposite of that. Go. Release the brakes. Play the trailer. Oh. Is it getting bigger and bigger as the thing goes on? I can't hear it. It smells wee. God, I thought it was a Johnny. Beans. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this, is this allowed? Can you put this in your mouth? You take the stairs, I'll take the lift. Come on. We're just beginning. Wow, wow, wow. There we have it. The cast is announced, everyone. Yes. And yours truly, Perian Flax. Wait, yours truly means you. Yours, there's truly, <laughs> Perian Flax <laughs> is in this yeah. task box. I, I was in it. It was, uh, it was an absolute hoot. Yeah, um, you were fantastic. I, my favorite part was, obviously, we, we do the tasks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when we get to watch them back yeah. and see so how good. you guys have edited so them and, and how we did and yeah. see what everybody else came up with for the same uh -huh. task is fucking brilliant. I loved yeah. being in it. Good. You did so well, and I can't wait for everyone to see it. So we've got Pyrian, we've got Bree, we've got Trot, and we've got Bryony. It's going to be good, everybody. It's, it's really something. It's right. really something. Can't wait. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm sorry for crashing right at the end there, but I hope it was worth it. Um, and uh, yes. Just a week to wait. One Just week. Just a week Not to long. wait. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thanks, everyone. Um, Thank you to Bitcade Bit for well. supplying Golden Tea oh. 2K <laughs> and some other games uh, with their cabinet. Excellent. Loved it. Thanks, um, everyone, for. And use code YOGSCAST for 10% off. That's pretty... I'm tempted to get one myself just to get... Get that golden tea, baby. That's yeah, it. you come back next year and kill with it. That's you just be <laughs> golden tea master. 
<laughs> I will slaughter the competition. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me uh, with you on this stream. Well, thank you for having me. It's not my stream. It's well, our stream. It's a joint stream. I, I think my p favorite part was uh, talking about that man. <laughs> that died of radiation. <laughs> That was the best bit. That, that was three hours ago. Wow. Yeah. And look at us now. And here we are. Here we are. Golf converts and chess experts. And I actually liked our uh, bagel chat too. Bagel chat was good. Yeah. And bacon sarni chat. I'm now starving hungry. Same. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're going to end the stream there. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for jumping in there. Oh, thank with you an for exciting announcement. Yes. I wish we could have seen you playing some golden tea. Yeah. But yeah, obviously that was, a, that was our first stream together. It was. I had a lot of fun. I, I did too. I thought it was great. All right. Well, Thanks we'll see so you guys well. soon. Take it easy. Bye. 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 Bye.